Mikey keeps gazing me in my eyes. In three, two, one. Yiddy, yiddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It ain't our fault. <coughs> it's, we were having technical difficulties. <laughs> I like that, huh? Yeah, it's their fault. It's all their fault. Totally Michael. No, totally man. Michael. <laughs> Don't put it in for his IG. <laughs> these niggas bad trying to commit hate crimes on this man. Thing. No jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, and this is no statements, <laughs> man. We're the gangsters, pimps, players, stripper hoes, and all the streets come together and cut Clyde. Yeah, the egg. And if I made up a word, that's what I do. Yeah. What's <laughs> up with the? Uh, I see Gordy got the Kill Squad mask. Oh shit! I got Gordy, my right hand, my left hand man, because I'm a creep. My left hand man, he's handling merchandise and doing everything he's supposed to be doing. He's sitting this one out, taking one for the team. He was pissed off. He cussed me out for making him miss the first joint. You know what I'm saying? But he out there getting the Kill Squad mask together. Uh, you know what I mean? But I got my boy Sharp, the All Star. And we gonna and let them know too that we don't got a lot of masks, so we're gonna be raffling them joints. Yeah, we would have did that at the after party. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But let we're definitely know. it's that not that many masks here for three weeks. So right now, our kill squad representatives, the the top kill squad supporters, the ones that's here every week sticks in the chat. I know who you are because I pay attention. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been, I, I I don't neglect my fan base. So I know who the ones are. Shout out Kill Squad Scratch. This pee tastes damn good. You over there sipping on Cambodian pee. Cambodian, 100% <laughs> Cambodian women's piss. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so it's true. I mean, it's, it's, it's the truth in every lie, man. You I know put what like mean? three drops. In every like couple. Wait, wait, wait! Fill me in on the pitch joke. I, ain't, I put I ain't. like three. That was no joke. I put like <laughs> I, I put I put like three drops of Cambodian women's piss in every cup of my rosé. So is that with the rumored piss? It costs a lot of money, dog. It costs to piss like this. It costs a lot of money. Does it? You know, like the rich people do adrenal growth. Yeah, it, it cleans like the that. soul. Yeah. The little piss cleans the soul. Three drops. Keeps you strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I got my boy, the one and only, one take down, What's DG the big University. Deal? What's the big old deal? Yeah, you know I'm saying coming out of uh, West Atlanta. You dig? No, I just played West LA native, LA South Central native. One of the best cameramen to do it. Got the same lineage. Yes, sir. All the way down to Atlanta, he played Tell every part of the movie with me. So y'all are really cousins. We cousins. It's cousin Pete. Don't let the people know. So I'm this saying. is how it break down, right? In LA, when your parents grow up together getting money, the kids kind of grow up together getting money. So we cousins through the streets. Yeah. So if that makes sense. And I that always say that. Sense. I no, always. I'm, you know what I mean? If you got yeah. an uncle or somebody that raised you or an aunt or whatever, you know how that go. Look. So it's like. LA is split up like the older people. It was like families that had money, as millionaires around the city, and the same millionaires like their kids was is like hustlers to it. We all like kind of linked together. If we don't, the nigga either fully square or turn smoker. You get what I'm saying? But like all the niggas who family hustled together and didn't tell them, you know what I mean? You know, family still Kept straight. Solid, we all like no smut. we all right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, niggas been getting money. Only the, the rich kids in LA know about that wave though, cause that's why motherfuckers be hating me because they called me a silver spoon baby. Were you? I wasn't. My mom went to the feds. Did fans. you that have a was... silver spoon? I had a silver spoon, I had a gold one. Yeah, man, put some Mama respect sure on it. Yeah, you know sure she left it behind right for you. Yeah, man. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with having no money, nah, not man. at all. Yeah, you know I'm saying? But my mom was a certified trapper, so it wasn't the same lifestyle, it's not the, Wake up in the morning and all that. It's to go to Granny House while I go out of town, nigga. Yeah. I'm in the I'm in the trenches. Were you certified trapping at Granny's? We was making it happen. I wasn't even trapping. <laughs> we was, we yeah. was stealing, robbing, thieving, man. Trapping wasn't even nigga thought of. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't start trapping till I found out I got to keep some money around. I just used to take mm. shit. Like, you know when I wanted to start trapping is when. 
you know, my people couldn't get me what I wanted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and they wasn't going to knock you for trying to go get it. So I came up in that type of household, like, kind of turn the other cheek, let the nigga get some bread. And I, w I wouldn't ask my people to, for any bullshit. All I would ask them is just take me to the store. Let me just get a ride to the mall. Yeah. That's all I want. Just give me a ride to the mall by my own shit. I'll make it Say less. Yeah. Man, come on. It's the least they can do. Come on, man. Shit, nigga gonna buy themselves shit, take me. And that's as I got older, you know what I'm saying? Probably like 14, 15. Nigga would go that's like. That's what I said, like 15. Take me to the mall, nigga. Shit, I started trapping, trapping like 14, 15, too. Yeah. I was already trapping, bro. Nigga like, uh, nigga can't wait on them shoes. Like, uh, everybody waiting on them motherfuckers. Like, uh, I I'm feel you. I'm not doing one or two I got it. here no more, dog. I was done with it. I think that's why I got, uh, I got a shoe fetish now. Like, you go in my closet, you see me, I got Eddie Pear in a box. All the shit that we couldn't get. All the shit kid. I couldn't when get. When Jordan yeah, dropped it again, nigga buying two of them now. Yeah, nigga. Shit. <laughs> Straight up, bro. That's what I, let me tell you something. Even in your adult life, there's something that you do a lot that you wish you had when you was a kid. Yeah. That you probably don't even notice, that you probably don't even remember. That's why niggas start smoking hella and hella weed just out of nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even as a kid, because nigga, nigga was piecing up on them dime sacks, 5'5", five, five, nigga. So stress. nigga start having nigga, now nah, nigga. Yeah, Bammer. what? Bammer, nigga. Stress nigga get you a long way. We might go buy a nigga stress and a dime of doty and mix it up. Put the half a diamond doty with a fat blunt of stress, bop, 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 half hit it. Half yeah, like, nah, yeah. nigga, you puffing on the Mostly stress in a little bit of doty, but you only needed that much of chronic back then. You remember, nigga? Niggas don't even talk about chronic. Nigga, Niggas doddy. don't even know what chronic is. Doddy, These kids don't know. I mean, they do, it's just morphed. Yeah, it's Kush. Into it's Kush now. Yeah, it's Chronic like was a different. whole different wave. Like, you got that vibe. Remember, it was that, that vibe. That beta. You hear me? <laughs> like uh 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 Orange Crush, uh uh what was the other shit? White Widow, huh? It was Beasters? It was BCs? Yeah. That nineties. Yeah, that's that what it was. was. Yeah. See, you you was on to the OGs in the late nineties. I I think we didn't get on to the OGs in the early two thousands. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, homie, if there was anything I ever remember like that was in between chronic and stress, or some good ass pretendo. Nope. That oh, that pretendo, cuz. Hey, 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 you could damn near sell it as chronic if you pick the seeds out that motherfucker. Like yeah. you get you a fire pack. I used to be yeah. at school with the with the with the uh, cause you know a pack of chronic was three hundred. So a zip of that shit was like uh -huh. like like seventy I to a hundred. Yeah, plug, nigga, whole oh, hundred some emerald yep. green. That's fire, emerald green. What man. fire, nigga? We I'm smoking still, good. What two for fifteen all day, nigga? Two point five for fifteen. Listen, speaking of Kush, shout out to uh, fruits and veggies. Shout out to Diddy and everybody over shout there. Out, smoking shout out, shout out, Black D, man. Shout out everybody over there at the fruits and veggies on, camp. Well, y'all on Pico, Super man. Y'all pull up right there next to We Jamming Cafe, man. He open all the time, man. You, you did know what I'm some of the best weed in the city. No Diddy. No hey, Diddy. Hey, y'all tap in right now, man. No statements, man. What was uh? You did. Y'all motherfuckers see us around this bitch. We live. What you uh? Bitch. What was your favorite weed coming up, Rick? My favorite weed outside of what? Before Stress, Kush? after after and here came the chronic and then after the chronic because obviously we all smoked. It was chronic. it was it. I ain't gonna lie. When Perp came, it was hard crazy. Ball. I was gonna say that Purple hard Kush. Hardball Perp. Ooh, that That's hardball went crazy. That's what it was called. That hardball. hard nugget Perp boy. That Niggas shit. Was what five grams, nigga, for one fifty. Two thousand three, two thousand one fifty. Four. Nigga. Was that twenty five a gram for sure? Nigga, Easy. Master Kush, the homie used to have nigga six grams for one fifty all day long, and he wasn't sticks in the chest. Sticks in the chat. Yes. Sticks in the chat. Yeah, yeah, Sticks purple. in the chat. I, that was the era that early was the era like Hardball perp was the one. Yeah, the hardball, but it hard never ball hardball was, was the, the street term for. I don't know what the growers, because you come from the grower well, community. Granddaddy. It was granddaddy, but it see, granddaddy. it was different granddaddies too, because the hardball wasn't all granddaddy. Cause they had the soft fire granddaddy too, though. The grayish. Purple. Remember, right. it was the grayish one. Then right. the, the hardball was like Kids the lighter. That was the lighter hard with the perp going you know through it. You know how much I would pay for some original hardball? Come perp? on, I man. mean, I know it's around because I've asked. Like it's around. You just got to go really looking. Somebody got it. It's just it's I, not I, there. I definitely uh, to just grab. I definitely feel like 
when uh, Sherbert came back out in Gelato, it was like seeing that because we 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 lost respect for colored weed. Remember, it got to the point they was making so many booth strands of purple that niggas just sure. stopped smoking it. For sure, it was like you keep getting spoofed by the you purple, would like smell we did. Purple in a nigga's pocket from way over there. Way over there, nigga. They, uh, That's how fire, like I, the real. I don't was. know how they stopped growing that pack. I'm like, who lost that shred? Somebody how had to fuck, die with the recipe or something. Bankruptcy. I don't. Yeah, get like, <laughs> like how did that get discontinued? Because I remember some people. Pref- yeah. Preferred that over over Kush, over the Irene. In Atlanta, they called it the Irene, remember? Yes, yeah, sir, I was yeah, there. We Irene. was there. We was yeah. definitely there. Some good OG, but out there it was called the Irene, 207. No 207. No 800 cap. is all and, 750. And, hey, I promise you, nigga be bad, you get 27.5 from a nigga. You for sure. And, and a nigga be like, I wish you would say something. Like, the 26 you ain't getting nobody yeah, else. Yeah, like, come on, happen? man. Yeah, Today not no, is flooded. Not no kill, yeah. Today is flooded. Yeah. A lot of people didn't even have the balls to go shop. You used to have to go, you used to have to go, uh, what you call it? You had to go knock on a nigga dough to go get that dope, man. You can't just go to no dispensary where it's safe, man. You got to know, nigga, when you, you pull out really that hundred, nigga, the nigga behind you might take it from and you, I man. I lie to you. Every nigga I ever got that perk from was from the bag. Yeah, a couple of my partners from the Bay. Two of my, one of them I'm still cool with to this day. My nigga, he just don't. That's the no only money. place you gonna get it from. Yeah, yeah. They, and they didn't really have like they didn't really have it down here for real. Yeah, you you have to bring it down, or you have to settle for some cush. I feel like this weed's watered down today because mm. it's so much. I mean, I'm not saying there's not no good. Cause I you don't think it's stronger now, now than it was back then? Um, I feel like people are spraying it more now. It's more bullshit in the it's game. It's more bullshit now yeah. on it than it was back then. Niggas want to cut the cost. Yeah. Like back then, it cost you to grow a little something, something, yeah. nigga. So that's why it was, he said it's 200 to 7. It was, you know what I'm saying, fucking 700 to zip because Come on, man. niggas was really curating that shit the proper way. Now niggas is trying to get it out. A pound, it out. A pound of OG out. had a gang of baby. Remember the nuggets were never too big. You feel me? They never they never harvested that much. You well, know it's what I'm like saying? Chicken, it was, right? Like I the chicken now, like chicken wings. We used to be small as fuck. Now those motherfuckers <laughs> like are huge. steroided out. Ste- and it's the same thing with the weed. They're motherfuckers steroid- on the roids. They steroiding the weed. They're trying to hurry up, get it grown so they can get it out. I mean. Huh? What's it called again? Phospholo. Phospholo. Yeah, that's just trying to hurry up and get it out there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, that's October a- used to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, we used to wait for October. October used to be a beautiful thing. Now that harvest. Now they harvest twice a year, outdoor, nigga, indoor every fucking 45 right, days. It's right, new right, shit going on. right. That's why I'm like, damn, bro, like, where's that real hardball? If somebody got it, I'm paying top dollar. Just like I did for this, just like I did for this Cambodian. I'm paying top dollar. I you got some more Cambodian for Cool. So uh, to I'm telling you, I, if somebody out yo, there, yo, yo, if yo. somebody out there in the world got some hardball perk, please DM me and just say, I got it. And I'm going to know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly, man. We going to go up there. That's I'm coming what we to need get to it do. all. We need to go on the hut. We need to vlog it. Hurley, you coming with us? Daddy, you coming with us? We going to the bay to go walk down the granddaddy perp The original one. We need to vlog you. Been we need to go on block us? to block. I had some niggas. So he definitely, so he definitely gonna know where the fuck that. I had some at. niggas in St. Pablo, oh St. Pablo, in 65th North Oakland. You pull up right there, nigga, and get you three for twenty-five or three for twenty. If you, you know what I'm saying three dime sacks for a dub. You know what I'm saying? I get six, seven of them. You couldn't get that weed in big portions like that, bro. And you kind of couldn't get. You that had weed to from buy it by else. the gram. Where else were you getting burnt from back in the day or a nigga that said he had it? It was a nigga either from the Bay or he say he getting it from there. Mm-hmm. I ain't really know too many other places that was moving that Weed strike. was important to the streets with pharmaceutical. It was very important. Now a nigga don't give a fuck what weed he's smoking with that perk. He off the perk, the drink, all that, man. The weed is just for access blowing it. No <laughs> nigga, this is the past time by nigga. They done went pharmaceutical. Everybody stuck off these pills and drink. They <laughs> pharma took over. So all your motherfuckers like drugs? Here you go. A few cases, nigga. A couple Ooh. hundred cases just fell off a truck. 
They ain't even falling off a truck. They just dealing. You know, that's how they going to talk about it's it. It's crazy you know? that they don't get in trouble for it for sending the pharmacy that many loads of that shit, right? But then the doctor gets in trouble for writing as many scripts as they can feel. You get what I'm saying? Like, said, they don't charge for- Big Pharma for none of that shit. But it's like, hey, bro, you should see by how they ordering, gang, that some shit's going on right there. Like, how do the feds have to stop it? Nigga, y'all not stopping it. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, because they got- playing dirty, why do the doctors have to but take really, the fall look, for it? But- Brick, if you look at it right, them this the government we dealing with. Big Pharma is the government. They make exact, they make the rules. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They make the rules. I'm somebody cousins, doctors, office, all that. It's still family members, all that shit. Just like that cocaine. You know, that crack made it to the hood. Yeah. It was directed to the hood, yeah. nigga on purpose. You, get you never seen saying? how many niggas get these dope ass jobs that are bunk as fuck at it, but the reason why they got it and it's high paying Who they is know? because of their family member. Sure. And there's been somebody who's been working in the company for 20 years and knows their job back. Nepotism. And can do it right, but won't give that person the job because they had to give it to their family member first. Nepotism. Yeah. You yep. know, so I mean, shit, it exists. It's alive and well. Yeah. I mean,. They always say it's who you know and not what you know, church. You, huh? It's great yeah. when you're the family member. I mean, yeah, that's what bad. I said. When you've worked there for 20 years, bust your ass, you learn the job, you learn even the person's job that they gave to their family member, and you still don't get it. And this nigga's fucking it up. And that's what college does. You don't even know what he's doing, bro. He's fucking it up every that's, time. He was been fired. You were just not a nephew. Fired. I would cousin. much rather, if I have to go, I'm not going to lie to you, if my daughter's college nears 150k for four years i'm just buying her a house as soon as she gets in as soon as she gets out of school and i'm just gonna start her investment i'm low-key like not that. mad at that you get what that i'm saying sense. you're I'm high gonna bubble off that. of this and you're gonna do you're gonna be an investor because if i invest in this school and then she has to pay them back and she has to work for somebody else whose family member could take their spot because we don't have a company like that the way you broke that down is having me like maybe you can go do a trade and be a designer and learn how to do clothes while you have this house you get what i'm saying like you like, got more I, time I, to focus on your i craft think or... i'm going that way because I, I i i i'm putting the money up for college and i'm like i'm about to give this to a college if you look at it and i'm not looking down on it i'm not trying to look down on it but like she can go to college off a tablet at this point think about how many people go to school that either a never finish their college or B, end up finishing it and working the job. And never use the degree. Not even liking that job. Yeah, never not even, use the you're degree. not using the degree and going and working a deadbeat job anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a twist. It throws you in a twist, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like you're better off going and putting 150000 into a house or into an investment an than into some, some school. Sort. Yeah. Like, no offense to, you know, education. I, I believe everybody should get an education. But, like, when I saw the, uh, the grading system change, in California, yeah, I just the, saw that the other day. The grading system changed. Like, nigga, they got it. Like, bro, you could be a complete fucking idiot and pass. No cap. I mean, there's because there's no. Uh, they have to lower the standard for colleges because there's so many self-made millionaires now. So you, ain't that about it? They bitch. gotta lower the standards. But ain't that about it, bitch? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, ain't that like about it, bitch. let us lower our standards because the world is catching on that this is like me lining you up for slavery for the next thirty years of your life. Like the only way it works is if you either get a doctor or something and be a doctor, hands on, I, or a lawyer and be a damn good lawyer. Don't settle into, to be a public defender. I'm not trying to get into religion or politics or nothing like that. Like, but I always, I look at this shit and just how they be moving, bro. Like they make up everything around here. They don't want, listen, you have to think about this. If everybody had money, there'd be peace. They can't always have peace because war makes money. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Even with just even street beefs and people having problems, riots, shit like that. There's insurances involved. There's all types of shit. Funerals, gotta There's, buy guns. You gotta get what I'm this, saying? Do that. It's a business. For sure. So if everybody had money and there was peace, there'd be no need for the things that actually money wouldn't matter at that point. Yeah. Money has to matter. Money's what makes the world go round. So if they don't, there has to be haves and have nots. There you go. There's no way around it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying I think it's, it's, it's fucked up, it, bro. It, you ask me. I mean, shit. 
It's all about how you 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 play. It's all, and then that's why you can't really knock a nigga that that chooses criminal activities when he don't have the brain power. To start yeah, well, you got niggas like Flacco, like you could have changed, you could have could have did this, you could have did that, like. And I ain't knocking Flacco because I get he comes from a certain background. You know what I'm saying? So he don't yeah. he sees it in in a one in one way setting, but he got to understand some people don't get. People get opportunity, but not that kind of opportunity. Yeah. So the opportunity that does get presented to them in that small window, they jump through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's common for anybody, You got bro. to. And I like back to the school shit. A lot of kids, they that go to college, they pick something quick out of a panic mode. Parents is like, you got to go to college, you got to go to college, you got to do something, you got to do something. And then they end up picking a trade that they don't even like because they're rushed. Yeah. Like you gotta hurry up. Trying hurry to impress. Up. Trying to impress. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not even picking the right the right things. But you really wanna be a prostitute, like my really wanna be a drug dealer. Sometimes you gotta let a motherfucker go fuck up. Sometimes you gotta let a motherfucker go fuck up so that way they can see young, that way they don't try to learn and get fucked up when they're older. I know it's all fucked up, but I No, it's here. not. It makes then, sense. Then, look, look, cause I be sitting here thinking like, man, my daughter 15 years old, gang. Like she's gonna be making grown up decisions in a second, gang. And that shit is gonna be fucking crazy to see what she, cause me, I'm never gonna judge my daughter, whatever she do, cause you get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not saying that to go along with what I was saying. Oh, hell, I've it. said it. Yeah. I said, yeah. I can't stop, listen to me, dog. You want me to, you want me to go first? Go I'll ahead. do it for you. I can't stop my daughter from being a prostitute, bro. I could have been the squarest nigga in the world. I could have never been in the game. Nobody I had nothing to, you know what I'm saying? I would never want my daughter to be a prostitute, bro. But if that's what she's gonna do, I'd rather encourage her to be safe, take care of herself. I love you. Be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? And I might run her back home to and her want to do something. Do yeah. something else where where she's going to want to do something else. She's scared. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like half of this shit with a kid moving in the we, right direction is acceptance. We too there. We we too much in their life for them to go that way, though. Cause this is true. This is, this is, they grew this up. Is I'm going to tell you, certain people grew up trying to. Uh, needing family for love and needing and needing and doing this so they'll pay for it. Your daughter could be a serial killer, said. kill 100 people. She could do that. Do you stop loving her? I can't stop loving her, never. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying the reason why the daughters that be like around players, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we get them everything. So once they get their money for themselves, they don't see themselves giving it to nobody else. They giving that shit to the motherfucking retailers, nigga. You get what I'm saying? They going to go get a car. They going to go live like how their dads was living. Like, nigga, I need to go get this Benz and this motherfucking loser. But sometimes, and I don't mean to be on too long, but sometimes that can enable them too. They can really fuck them off in the long run, constantly giving them everything. Because yeah. then they start to think that that's how the world is. It's just giving to you. That's so why you got to teach them how to fish. You know what I mean? So when, like, do you, when do you stop? I mean, you never stop. I just think as they get older, you you thin it out and manage it for them a little bit better. Explain to them the meaning of a dollar because I'd be afraid for my kids to be on this earth and I'm not here and they don't know what to do with somebody oh, no, that's, that's or know how to it. take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's why I or said, just teach them how to shit, my daddy yeah. always took so care of everything. Like I don't know, my daddy bought me everything. I didn't really have to do nothing. Think about how many daughters are out there that are like that. Yeah. That's why there's a lot of girls that act like, hey, they're on the gimme, gimme, gimme perspective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you should buy me this. You should buy me that because yeah. they've had everything yeah. bought from them since they was a kid. They were spoiled. So they grow up and they hold that trait with them dearly and nearly to their heart. Nearly and dearly to their heart. They hold that shit and they don't let it go. Yeah. That's how the I'd thought, rather my daughter that's be that how the bitch. thought was born. Not like that. Not to go and not to say, I'd no, rather my shit. daughter be the gimme bitch than, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Nah, but not. In a sense of give me over, go get it yourself, go get it yourself. But when you get in a relationship, be selfish. Yeah. You mash on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what I preach. You mash on the nigga. Nigga, don't let no nigga control the narrative, nigga. Real shit. I, I, I ain't going to say what I say on camera. I mean, off camera, on camera, but nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, not mine. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, not Fuck mine. I, well, I ain't going to be the one getting mashed on, nigga. You better go find you a nigga that, hey, listen. It, I'd rather it be that way to where the nigga don't think that he running shit than the nigga got to pull up and pop that nigga one day. I don't know what I'm going to do. You get what I'm saying? That sounds like shit. This is true. But I can't, like we said, we cannot pick their future. Because you got to remember that even though you're going for your daughter, you was the other nigga on the other side yeah, at one point in yeah, time. But so we got to think about what we're teaching our kids as well. Like, what, what did I, where did I go wrong to 
right. have her go down this route or even get caught up with somebody like this. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame the people that's out in the street because everybody got a life. Oh, it's, it's my job, my duty to make sure she got enough knowledge, enough sense to either A, move on her own, or B, maybe she's looking for more out in the world. People do that, bro. People and you got to let her centuries. figure it out on her own. So sometimes that's you got to let That's how she grows me. and figures it out. Come on, bro. Your head. I can't stop I can't, And I can't stop her from bumping her head until she's ready. Bingo. It's just got to hurt enough after a while. Uh, uh, what we got? My nigga Kill Scott stretching it to that. This is my boy, man. He definitely can get a mask. Hey, listen. Dejon Mustard is getting his tummy tuck. What the fuck? Who is Dejon Mustard? The fuck is that? Hey, so look. Let's review a few of our uh, favorite comments from last week. Can we see what we had going on? I would need the chat to be more involved this week, man. Last week, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, my energy was off, but we here, man. Let's get it cracking, man. Y'all share this link, man. Like, press the like button. Like it up right now. Do we got the comments from last week, Daddy? Yeah. Where's where's fucking Michael at? A few of our favorite comments. We'll go through them later on. So, as you can see, there's been no peace. Here at No Joke. What's been going on, feel me? And you know I'm new to this whole world and this whole podcast, so let me know. Nigga, you been with me for the last couple of weeks. There's so much shit going on at No Jumper, I man. I can't keep up, bro. Right? This shit like a soap opera. Uh, listen. A real shitty one. <laughs> so, yeah, so. No, I know. That's why. I, yeah, I'm not tripping. That's why I said Mike ain't there. I ain't tripping. Uh, recently. D.W. Flame, but well, recently, as recent as yesterday, D.W. Flame. And as recent as this morning. Yeah, as recent as this morning. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's ongoing. I what would say as morning? recent as this morning. He just, he, listen, so let's just unpack. Let's unpack so, the lunch. Adam, we're talking about the porn party that we attended. The porn party was pretty cool. I, I, you know what I'm saying? We'll get, we'll get into to, to that in a second. So we talk about the poor party. DW like, oh, Brick didn't even tell me he was going. I'm like, oh shit, nigga, I ain't want my bitch. Da, 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 right? You know what I'm saying? Boom. So he's like, oh, we were supposed to hit him. He said, no disrespect. And DW said, don't do that. He said, you are giving bad bitch energy right now. Mm. And at that moment, DW looked at the ground, looked back up. Looked around. He never looked back at him. Nah. No. Nah, nah, he nah. never did. He, he never, never looked, looked back. at him. Yeah, he, he never, never looked, looked back at him. He yeah. never, he, you seen it. It was like. Because I think if you would have connected. The energy would have exchanged. Yes, yeah, it the energy exchange, would have exchanged. Because it starts with the, with the, with the visual. Yeah. And, and the here. way he explained it this morning from his side and being in his shoes, I understood what yeah. he was saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He was like, bro. I'm off that hen dog. So yeah, I got that. I'm drinking that dog right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, I think he did the right thing, bro. Just getting up. I feel. I mean, he, that like he, he said, that show growth. Live is, yeah, that show growth, like, and I'm I'm proud of bro for that, my nigga. And everybody like, ah, oh, he should have checked him right then and there. He should have checked. Hey, listen, everybody, fuck their opinions. Everybody bro. wants a motherfucker to trick theirs off as soon as they get right here. Oh no, they want to see this shit crash up here and then be like, what happened to No Jumper? Yeah. That's really how it goes. That's they really crazy. want all this shit to burn down and then be like, damn, I what happened to so. No Jumper? But yeah. it get bigger and bigger. How and they better. let this happen? What you mean how we let this happen? That's it, why I don't let them listen on me. I love that they watch. I love the supporters. I love the fans, the viewers. I love all of them. But we cannot allow them to create any narratives in this building. Like, it's cool to give you opinions. That's cool. That's love. But when motherfuckers try to really start painting narratives and trying to put one against another and trying to have this person fight because they just want to see it and laugh and get all excited like they were a part of it, fuck that. That shit's out. Yeah. That shit's out, bro. That shit. Go to the, yeah, go somewhere else with that shit. Come on, guys. Because it ain't happening. You can keep commenting it all day, but it ain't going to happen. It's like, it's like y'all talk about what y'all would do off of y'all couch, but y'all don't do shit. Y'all don't know what the perks are of being here. Y'all don't know what the 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 cons of being the pros and cons of being at no jumper. Y'all don't know like 
hey, all right, say you feel like Adam ain't paying you enough to be there. You don't know what being on this platform brings a motherfucker on this side hustle. You don't Low know if another motherfucker. They're fucking. not dumb. They do. Yeah. They know. Yeah. They just play as hate, bro. Yeah. It's just, it's to, to instead of being positive, let me be the one that goes against the grain. I'm negative. Fuck all y'all. Because I'm having a bad day. Uh, I'm like, over here broke as fuck, fucked up. Yeah, get my blocks. DM. I got 20 for you. I got $20 for you, 30 you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All he wants is a weed sack, though. You can give them, give them the weed sack and they cool. Because they mad because they ain't got no weed. Let me know your spot. I'm going to send in an Uber. Come on, man. So pull up on me. I'll let you know when it shows up. Like, damn, is that what we doing? It's over hey. some punk ass weed? <laughs> like, that's the world is over with, bro. It's over. We're done. This shit, I quit. And hey, listen, man. Shit. But so, yeah, everybody felt like he should crash out. So he, he walked out. Me and Adam continued the podcast, you know what I'm saying? And Adam felt as if he was, I was they was like, the chat was like, you should call and, and apologize. Damn, Adam, you wrong. And Adam goes on to say he felt like he was wrong because he told him he didn't mean anything by it or whatever. I just told Adam and certain people you play with like that. If they not open to playing like that, you'll see it in their character off the rip. Yeah. Don't be the first one to play the bitch game. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, you damn near, that's a game where you ask permission. Almost like, nigga, you, you, like, all right. You know what I mean? Like, or you see a nigga like, you know what I'm saying? Conversing with his close homeboys like that, and you converse with your close close homeboys like that. So you guys can play the, ah, oh, shut your bitch ass up. Like, you get what I'm saying? But and like we said. We barely play that shit. Like, we like, never like, play You get what I'm saying? But like, we, I think, and the only thing I feel like is, if DW would have said that right then and there, Adam would never play with him again right then and there. It'd have been it'd have been over with. He'd be like, hey, don't fucking play with me like that. Hey, don't do that shit. I ain't with none of that. And then, I mean, I can't tell a grown man how to treat anything either. So For that's sure. not, and I know that probably throw me in the same spectrum as everybody else saying something in the comments, <laughs> but I've actually experienced that with Adam. So I'm, I, that's why I'm speaking on it. And I'm like, when he says some shit to me or just some shit that I'm like, just tell him, hey, bro, don't do that shit to me. And you know what? Respectfully, the nigga don't do it no more. And then understanding every culture do different. Yeah, Spanish yeah, people do, do their no thing. More. Black people do their thing. White people do their thing. Every culture do no got their own thing and how they play. Everybody I, can play the same. I, I give Adam that, though. He won't do the shit no more. Once yeah. you tell him, he be like, oh, all right, I, just, I didn't know. You know what but I'm then, That's his humor. But then yeah, the that's his culture. That's what, you know what I mean? But a motherfucker. Nah, it's just Adam's humor. You just can't, him in sick ass ways. You can't tell <laughs> a motherfucker how to, how to respond to certain shit because mm -hmm. you could say that you would have just been like, oh, yeah, da 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 da. I mean, I'm just saying that because what I've if done like, it. Hey, nigga, stop playing with me like that. And Adam laugh and that laugh trigger a nigga to jump over that motherfucker. I mean,. You know every word is sensitive after you say don't play with me. This is true. Once you say don't play with me, nigga, it's an odd silence. That well, I think motherfuckers know. Well, his laugh would have been nervousness. And if you can't pick up that either, then there's come he on. He said he was off the end dog. Yeah, he wouldn't have, Well, he got his ass up. Exactly. He still he got because he like knew he, that he knew what his energy would have been I, on I, if I he checked him right there. Like if That's I check him right now, then I might because you know I can tell he really don't want to be on that. You nah, know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, and he was trying to say, like, I don't know about everybody up here, but I don't play like that. Hey, church, I don't play like that. Yeah. That's why I'm not in a lot of settings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm unleashed in only certain areas, my nigga. That's why I don't come to certain parties. I don't get invited to certain shit because niggas already know I'm a tripper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Certified like, tripper. Outside, nigga. Like, uh -huh. every time. Like, no matter what anybody say, nigga, you've been outside with me, nigga. You know I'm yeah. saying? I don't play no games. Yeah. So I'm just like, I think Adam even thinks that, like, nah, probably ain't for sure. Uh, and you know what? I can respect that because I feel like that's him respecting me and not putting me in an uncomfortable position to where I got to say something. Yeah, and putting you in a position to where you jeopardizing your friendship over him exactly. wanting you to act a certain way. Exactly. Yeah. Because you know, know I'm uncontrollable. Yeah. So you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like I'm saying, when I'm outside and I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I'm not... If I'm if I'm on some, I'm not listening to nobody. Yeah, I you know mean, what I'm saying. Either. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like that, either, bro. I'm going, I'm going all the workplace. Way play. You got me. Yeah, put I'm, your knee in church. We get the shit done. You know what I'm yeah. saying. But outside, yeah, yeah, I'm uncontrollable. But yeah, so they had covered it on the news. I had to. Baby mama drama going on this morning. Let's talk yeah. about it. Let's unpack. Wait, nah. Hell nah. Do it? Fuck is you Why talking not? about? <laughs> huh? You don't mind unpacking my shit? Let's unpack all this shit. 
Let's get it all out there, shall we? Why not? What happened? Talk to me, brother. That's how you get him. He can't. What happened, church? <laughs> you like to you get right here to do that shit. You son of a motherfucker. <laughs> As many times right, as I've seen you, Hey, church. brother, we all care about you. Yeah. I care about you. Sticks the in the fucking chat. <laughs> Sticks in the motherfucking chat. We're all concerned about Brent, no baby. no mad chat. Hey, I am no mad chat. Hey. He just got to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, no bad check. That's just, yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't nothing too bad. I mean, the world goes oh, through things. You were on the phone coaching me through it. What you want to tell me? I told you so <laughs> uh, 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 on my show. I told you, nigga. You know, because you I got it for my me own already, room. and I see that it's kicking your head. <laughs> Did you? I got, no, I'm saying, I got my own room Did over you? there at your house that I could have peacefully. You could have. peacefully. Key word, you could have. <laughs> but you didn't. And you had to suffer the consequences, <laughs> unfortunately. You know, but hey, you know, you're here. We're here. We're healthy. We're alive. $3,000 $3, later. $3,000 later. $3,000 later. That was expensive to say. Yeah, expensive, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that ring down while you washing your head, church. I'll nigga fucking shit. bet. First nigga I'm coming to look for is the nigga that goes, hey. Hey, hey, I'm like, where's that nigga? It's only one nigga in this bitch laugh like that. Find his ass. Straight up. Now they put niggas on the milk garden. I'm going to put your laugh out there. <laughs> hey, look, right? Straight up. Can but, find you quick. Yeah, I was going through some shit. I, what was you going through, brother? Talk to us. Arguments. I went out of town. You know how it happened when you go out of town and your phone died and shit. And your phone be dead. Then they swear you here and there. But you really everywhere. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell. Well, they're just mad because, you know, in their mind, whether your phone's dead, whatever the case may be, they feel like you're not thinking about them. I'm not. I'm probably not. Because I'm working. I'm out of town working. So it's hard to think about a motherfucker while you sitting down doing interviews and, you know what I'm saying, attending. Yeah, you kind of be wanting to get through your day first. Exactly. I agree. You know what I mean? And then you call in, bop, bop, bop. It's not an all-day thing. So... I'm laying down, and it's going smooth. I'm asleep, got my baby, then I just hear a motherfucker argue. I don't know if they went through my phone while I was asleep. Uh, I just hear a motherfucker argue with they self. So, Whoa. It's like, nigga, I'm asleep. That's so spooky. That's like you? cries in the night, like haunted. Like, what the fuck's going on, <laughs> dog? Like, on. you never Yo. heard them noises. Yeah. Nigga wakes up, like, yeah, the fuck is that sound? Fuck is <laughs> so she I just mean, scrolled away. <laughs> I just started putting my clothes on. You I'm, already knew what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately put you my clothes what on. Buy no my car keys. No, no argument. Shit. I'm asleep. Out the door. I sit the car, pulled around the corner, and sat in the car for 10 minutes to wake up. Like, was you hoping this nigga it was just a dream? Yeah. Thought you sleepwalked? Yeah. Thought you'd go back to the house? Yeah. Nah. Then it was it was real. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was real. Then it was like made up stories. Like you just you 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 improving this. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm in the field. Well, when a bitch finds out something, one thing that's right, right? And it could be one thing. Now all of a sudden, everything is right. It's everything like, they yeah. think is right. And yeah, they could be right. 99% wrong. They only got 1% right. Yeah, yeah. But because they got that 1% right, that makes them 100% right. And now. I'm not into proving, like, nah, show me this and show me that. Shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. You know what I mean? Whatever you come up with in that tormented, whatever head of yours, you have know said, twisted, yeah. toxic head, yeah. keep that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So now... I'm on the freeway. I call Sharp. What up, bro? I'm finna come over. Nigga, I'm finna come over. You got a what bubble in? You got a titty in your tire or something? Nigga? <laughs> no, Why nigga. you bouncing with it? Yeah, see, no. you he in a low rider. No, no, he in a six four. Uh, he in a low rider. Did you, did you hit a pothole on the 10? Uh, I'm doing 100. Oh, you yeah. speeding? Yeah, 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 you going yeah. so fast. No diddy. So now, so now, I'm like, uh, I ain't finna go over there and bring my energy over there. Then the homies call. Go pull up on the homies. Now it's options outside. You know, everybody calling the church is telling me no options. Just pull up because you're making it. It's going to all be bad. It's going to be all bad. I'm like, you're right. 
Let it go with my daughter, man. Let me go lay down over there, man. I told you don't even go there. I said, hey, just chill. Come through. Chill out. <laughs> By the time the sun come up, everything, just, the dust should be settled. You should, I don't know. Uh, you're going to do what you want to do. And some shit but happened from you, there. We ain't even going to Yeah, but I feel like shit. I told you so. You did. I fucking told you, nigga. You did. But you, you talked me out of a great situation. No, I talked you. Yes, I talked you out of a grave situation. <laughs> Way better. See, big difference. See? Don't go in. All right. I, all right. See, but I'm saying I talked you out of a, a, a grave situation. Exactly. So at least we are here to say. Boy, you ain't learned from me yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is you doing? Well, at least we're here to say that yeah. I did not. You didn't listen. Jump. No, you didn't, the, listen. You didn't uh, listen. Yeah, I did. I did. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I went to sleep and woke horrible. up. You know what I'm saying? That, that would have been horrible, did. church. And church. you did right. You yeah, did right. Yeah. I'd rather you had did that than anything. So, yeah, no, I'm happy for you. What we got right here, this is uh, some of the comments, I believe, from last week. Uh, yeah. I want to say. Yeah, from last week. You said the idea, young mana, young mana. Young mana. 11.37, the idea that Adam Beyond went out of his way to do some gay shit to try to throw it on April Fools and they still fuck with him is real. They some real friends beyond, what the fuck is that? Bus six. What does that mean? I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. Bus six? Something we missing? Is there a code? Is that a joke or something? Beyond the bullshit? I don't know. I mean, Adam is Adam. We know Adam gonna be Adam. So, like, if you're trying to stop Adam from being Adam, then shit. You know what he mean? lost already. He lost before he started. Rondo Rondo gave him his flowers for coming out like a real one. That same day, he like, man, I respect you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you came out. I wasn't going to do the interview with you, man, but I had to think about it. Like, at least you ain't trying to hide it. <laughs> had him ask, tell him, like, hey, bro, this asshole is pure. Mm -hmm. It's not, though. It's tainted. I don't want to talk about that. All right, cool. You see what I'm saying? I would just Don't say, do that shit to me. I'm saying. I get it. There's been a lot of hostility lately with this shit. Who? It is. Uh, we know that Adam has done it's a little. tainted. Ugh, man, the fuck be Is going on? That a on? chill, or that was like that's just a ch nigga. <laughs> Play with me if you want to. I know you just bad because I've right, right. been on you, church. I get it. Yeah. I, I deserve that one. That's fine. All right, go to the next. Uh, one, man. We man, out of here. We out of here. What's this? Uh, Mega Man X E Seven said Zan Princess really brought those puppies out. She and we know what puppies. puppies. <laughs> we know what puppies you talk about too, church. You know, yeah, yeah, she does. She brings them she out. Brings she brings them out. out. She thrives with those puppies. All right, we're on the fan funding. Let's go over the fan funding a little bit because these people, we'll, we'll come back to those. Yeah. Uh, Alcoholic Gamer, we appreciate you. Said, what's up, Brick and Sharp? Got another fire drink for y'all to turn up. Get that hypnotic plus strawberry Fanta plus lime. Enjoy drink is on me. Turn up loud and get it lit. Get lit. Yeah, put something strong in there too, though. Turn up loud and get lit. Yeah, man. Not off the damn. That hypnotic boy had him spinning. Yeah, but the hip, you got to put something else there. You got to tap the hip. Well, hypnotic and Hennessy was always yeah, the drink. Yeah, Incredible, Incredible Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, Incredible was, Hulk was man, always the drink. That so, would have thought that. Uh, nigga. Nigga be like this. Fiesta, fiesta. Da, 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 Imagine being on. Psh, boy, that shit how you been. Hypnotic and Out Hennessy. The window, like, Yee. You ever drank that shit, church? Hypno and Henny? The blue shit. With the blue. Yeah, the, the skinny tube. And you put it with the hen dog, it turned green. The skinny tube. Turned green. Uh, it was either Avalanche or Aftershock. It was a liquor. Oh, you're talking about Alizé? I don't remember that. I wasn't a full-fledged drinker. Oh, I, no, I knew yeah. all the drinks, but I don't remember that one at all. Blue and red crystals or had crystals. Well, the only liquor that I knew that had crystals in it was Aftershock and Avalanche, and both those was two liquors. Yeah, those wasn't like fruity drinks. I still have. Well, the one at the Aftershock I think was like cinnamon or something. I some ain't shit. never missed 
crystal with my drink before. Yeah, no, but it has no, it had like this this crystally sugar on the inside of it. What? And it crushed you around the rim. It's both of those, right? It forms in rotation around your nostrils. Don't be, stop. All right. Stop. I mean, but you've been kicking it because. But you knew I knew the drink. I knew Listen, what the drinks was. What I'm Those to are old. You. Nobody even drinks You've that shit. You've been kicking it with Scott. Where's Scott at, man? I don't even know. I got to call him. He hit me up the stream, too. He about to get DP. Yeah, he got to start he got, shooting up. Yeah, he got Scott to start Scott hockey sticks? No, speaking of Scott the hockey sticks, I see that you had a crash out moment. Back to you. What was that about? What? What was that about, Well, bro? that day I was just kind of like, when I came in, I was really, I really felt a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't find nothing funny. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be joked with Man. by nobody. Zan tried to crack a couple jokes. I was just, that's why I stood up and even Flacco. I was like, look, like if this is what we going to do, all right, we, I can start capping jokes on all y'all. So right was now, that like, the sharp one or was that sharp? They got sharp rob about They got sharp rob about me. <laughs> Straight up on pimping. <laughs> you know, I don't give a so, fuck with nobody. So, so, so we, we like... But Scott, that's what, my what, homie though. Like he ain't taking. But he, out of my homie too. He felt no, and I know like. But running content on your name for eighty days. Straight yeah, is, and even Scott, they knew where I was coming from. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, I we. Hey, he stand on my side, bro. That's why I fuck with bro. That's I, know, I know his heart big, and I know his heart pure. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta think about it, dog. We got a couple of new pure spirits in the building. Yeah, that don't know that, that everything really, got a twist to it. Everything's got a twist. Everything's got a fucking back door. So, Pause, no dick. That's what I'm about to say. You even got to say that. You know what I'm saying? You got to say that. Uh, How many podcasts have to say that? Nobody. Like, we, go like through, we go through the fucking We're most. We're traumatized over Bro, here. Bro, we go through the fucking most over here, church. But Sur- I mean, shit, it's Surviving love, Adam coming soon. We all know, but like I said, we all know what the fuck we signed up for. So I mean, shit, nigga, it's, it is what it is. Nigga, let's get it. Yeah, man. I, I, I feel like you went through a moment and DW went through a moment also like where y'all could feel where I and was I coming from. And I just said, cause. I was like, damn, everybody been crashing or like not even crashing, but just had their segment of yeah. just some crazy shit or just feeling a certain type of way. And I was like, damn, TW was the last nigga to hit the totem pole with it. Yeah. So now everybody's kind of had a little bit of something up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, it suck on me, but I mean, shit, my nigga, it come with the business. We know this, and you know I ain't lying. It come with the business, It come bro. with the business. But it, it, to the world, it's like we're normalizing arguments amongst the staff. Like, shit. Uh, fucking uh, Almighty and Adam got into it. Dog. About what I was listen to me. Listen to me. What they got about? We was watching a video earlier, right? And they, because uh, the boy, Danny, I forgot what his name is. Uh, shout out to him, though. Uh, I, I, don't mean to dis- I don't mean to disrespect not knowing, remembering your name. But he had did a video, and the way he was talking, and then I saw Almighty and Adam, like, and they're kind of getting into it. You just see Almighty, nigga. And then hat just flat, like, nigga, because he's quiet. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you know nigga. that motherfucker be hanging hey, on by a thread already. Yeah, yeah. Because the way he I said, whatever it was, he meant that shit. Oh, duh. I couldn't hear it. I said, whatever that was, he meant it. It was, uh, yeah. He meant to church. He, he felt like meant it. He felt like he was. I the tiger, nigga. He Adam is it. underqualified to judge the Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake beef <sighs> due to the fact that he's. Not a part of the and didn't Adam call him a name? And didn't Adam call him a name or some shit? It like better that. not have been nigger. No, it wasn't that. I'm <laughs> I know what I'm saying like, it, from what I gathered from it, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I didn't get to I didn't get to watch that episode, but I did hear that they went in and people were saying that oh, it was W Almighty shit like that. So I don't know if it he was called both him sides. a name. I know that Adam said that he did get beside himself by. Uh, just mentioning that he created the, the okay. platform and all that. He went big bro on him, but I mean, when you're back against the wall, like you get the chest poking and that's what, yeah, you know I mean, like it, it ain't no hoes, but I don't think they holding on to that shit either. They Almighty there. ain't even one to hold on to shit. And Adam ain't that's, either. He's a debater. The great debate. He's the great debater. That's why I didn't start this morning. I was about to start with him, and I knew how long it was going to be. I just said, fuck you, almighty. I gave him the day. Yeah, I got on him about his breakfast sandwich. He was hot. He was <laughs> like, I always got to deal with y'all fucking cigarettes. Why you think I always walk out? I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's my nigga, though. I don't give a fuck. Kind of riled up early. He hates when we smoke him out. Yeah, he hates when we smoke him the fuck out. But you know what? 
You better get my fucking love because I only smoked two this morning on it. Yeah. Cause I thought, cause, but you it know what, a, bros, bros got like, he, like he be having asthma sometimes and shit. So I do get that. So that's why I was like, I ain't about to sit here and just smoke a nigga he out. He risked more chest. with his contract than us smoking in the room. What you mean? Shit, no jumpers, crazy. <laughs> Not <Nah, laughs> <laughs> the fuck is the cigarettes gonna do? Nigga, I mean, stress shit. can kill you. Fuck, <laughs> straight the fuck up. Look, he agrees. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Spiraling out. Yeah. Turn every negative to a. That's yeah. very important. I suggest yeah. yoga. What I be telling you, cuzzo, all the time. Yeah, he yoga. Want me to start going to all yoga. All funny shit aside, I was man. thinking about doing Bikram yoga. yoga so I, I do don't want to smell all that smell. I know. I, I do Bikram. That's high yoga. I don't want to smell. Yeah, that's Bikram, high yoga. Bikram is yeah, high yoga. High yeah, yoga. Bikram has both. I know. Oh, it has uh, both? Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want to do this. The owner Rooms 100 right. degrees and everybody's in there. Niggas just. Hot ass and. Nigga bitches on the rag and. <laughs> nigga toes yeah. and just cheap motherfuckers ain't took no baths yeah. got straight up didn't brush a grill came straight to the came gym straight to yoga fuck that it don't be about that. five people in there six people in there if that but i guess you get what you pay for i'm with i'm with the yeah. yoga i i i got shot in the yeah. back twice and shit i got scoliosis too like nigga i'm with the yoga i i'll fuck with it but at the end of the day you, you gotta you know that. You gotta go over there and go get stretched out. Pause, no diddy. No, that's just all the way. Pause, Whoa, right? go get stretched out. Just saying, ain't that what you're doing over there in yoga? Stretching your body, right? No diddy, no Russell. You, What's yoga? You want to come with me? What? No, I don't. Do you want to no, come? No, no. That's what, <laughs> what, what does yoga pertain to? Uh, it, it's definitely mind stimulating, but what does what do you do with physically? Yeah, I what gotta do stretch with your body? my muscles out, gang. Yeah. Pause, no diddy. All right, so let's get into another comment. I'm striking you this whole, I owe you all this straight up. I'm striking you the whole shit. So wait, Fuck hold on, this let shit. me tell you why my big bro feel like he just wanted, wanted, to, wanted to squabble me today. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's funny though, bro. All this you, shit dog. with this bitch, this thirsty asshole, started because I... Couldn't let the bitch keep capping on TV. And my bro was like, leave it alone, leave it alone. I'm like, man, this bitch, this bitch. But she wasn't going to leave it alone. So I wasn't going to let her just paint the narrative like she was just, you know what I mean? But she, I mean, hey, round of applause for the dumb bitch. Hey, Change man. your name to dumb homie, you dumb bitch. Because you did so much messy shit, nobody in America could trust you. I hate to even hear it like that, for real. Yeah, but. man. It just is what it is. You one of them. You might as well start anyway. But, yeah, so now he owes me. Yeah. Yeah, look. So they say this was fire. Love, Adam, Brick, and Gordy together. Can. Princess. Oh, can Princess. Is just the coolest chick that's oh, ever Zan been. Oh, Zan Princess Zan is princess. the coolest chick. Yeah, but he said can. Yeah, that ever been. Can on Princess. No, can. Can Princess. That's white boy shit. Yeah, can. Oh, can Princess. Oh, can Princess. <laughs> yeah. Is the coolest chick that ever been on this platform. Those fluffy Frenchy shit <laughs> were at least 20, 30 a piece at minimum. He said, I got one, but it ain't fluffy and mine was 8K. So is that what they meant when they said she had her puppies out earlier? She or? did. She did nah, have the flesh. I know exactly oh, what they, they meant. Mean. Her puppies out, not the puppies that they talking about twenty thousand. No, dogs. I know exactly what yeah. the fuck they she meant. She had both puppies. She had two puppies, and she had. You see his dialogue. He actually broke it down to the damn dogs. Yeah. The puppies. Yeah, he broke it actually down. The, the comment before that was, was very short. Yes, yeah. I could tell it's very short and Got sweet. It. But yeah. she does fuck with dogs. Zan was a no show today. Oh, wait. Text message from Zen. Can't make it. What time is it till? Fuck you. You already knew Zan. Stop playing. Yeah, fuck you. Sticks in the chat. Sticks, Sticks in the chat. Sticks in the chat. Kill, squizzard. <clears throat> Hope your lace front get caught on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> on a she tree you stick. She the shit it's her birthday and shit. Fuck you. If well, you watch it right now, though. I know you watch it, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Nah, that's the homegirl. Right, she yeah, that's definitely the homegirl. kill squad. 
her sky high baby we got some females on kill squad some heavy hitters and i just got a call from the caribbean and natalie and them said kill squad dropped them sticks in the chat man they kill squad too man she burnt this church she did call that and i, I ain't talking about I, sexually i just, I just huh she burnt this church. I don't she, care. She, she burnt me. She kill squad, she bro? She burnt me. Nah. She can't be kill squad, nah, gang? She nah, called. Nah. She was like. I had a relationship with her, too, gang. Like, I was my homie. I interviewed her and everything, my nigga. Like, she was cool. Like, I. She took food out of our She took food mouth. off our plate, my nigga. Like, and, and did. She did, didn't call in. I then, just wanted to see No, nah, but look, though. She took nigga. food. She took food off our plate and didn't even offer us Uber Eats, my nigga. You know not what I'm saying? A, not even a shrimp. Not nothing. Like it's like damn. No, she wanted did. us to accept it. She did, but she wanted us. She she wanted to fly us to Miami to do the podcast, and you you know like, bitch, come. Do you should have cleaned it up where you fucked it up at. Yeah. That's where you come clean it up. Yeah. At. And then you said that you were, and then you didn't. But the last time we flew out her town for the podcast, her, she was drunk. I'm making her stand I'm not on doing business. That shit again. She she knows me, bro, and she knows how I feel about things. She she, she got to stand on business right now. She can't do that. She should have showed up. All right, we respectfully, because that was her, my own girl too. I'm not we even give you till like after y'all done shooting Caribbean. If you ain't down here the first week when you get back from the Caribbean shit, it's over with. No kill squad. That go for you too, Jayla. We don't need your services either. You fine? What? Who's? Huh? Who you talking Jayla. about? Jayla? Yeah. They come and go. What happened to her? Oh, she went over to, uh, she went yonder. They say yonder. that was before. They say that was before. She they went yonder. Over. Yeah. Y'all got she, strikes. Why she ain't coming back? <laughs> it say the way Brick said, what the fuck? And I say, maybe, yeah, after putting the mushroom. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny because they asked me a question while I was eating mushrooms. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that shit was. I thought they were going to go way crazier with that. I'm like, why did I say something with the mushroom shit in my mouth? Like, that shit could have went way worse. Pause. Like, thanks for y'all loving me and not trying to. F Let me not give y'all no ammo. Uh, let's get to the topics. He said a coherent brick is an entertaining show. Was I coherent last week? I've been coherent. That's how you lately. slumped. I was I was traveling from three a.m. West Coast time. I got on the flight six a.m. Got here. Had to get to work. Stayed here from ten all the way to fucking six. You were slumped. Pouring juice. It's over with. Pouring juice. You know it was over. I don't even drink no more. It was over with. You know it is. Come on, man. Hey, listen. So, I don't know where all the links are, though. Tony Wilrich? All right, yeah. So, Tony Wilrich says that recently that One he was best talking friends. on Flacco that Tony Wilrich, the old or former gay crip, Tony Weirwish says that when he was at No Jumper, he was twerking on Flacco. I don't and believe Flacco that. Flacco was seeming very flirtatious. So let's see what the fuck he's talking about. And Flacco got his mouth open in this. I, I, let's, let's, let's call Flacco, too. When, you, when we're done. Yeah, yeah this, I know. Yeah, we'll yeah, call yeah, Flacco. Yeah, 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 let's let's, let's, let's hear it. Up. Let's hear what this was real quick. Also, my nigga Ugly Money shit. Shout out to Ugly Money. That's my nigga right there. Turn it up for us. Where's my head? Turn it up a little bit. We having a little glitch right now. Oh, he did ugly money out there in the A, huh? Oh, that's where film it in London. To yeah. have kids, but be up here for right, ass. Start it's gonna over. come a time where it's okay for all that, but right now is not the time. Everything is. If he if he goes that way and on his sexuality, if is he ashamed? I mean, if he if he if he goes that way, why do you think he just won't come out the closet and say so? Um, 
because it's not time yet. So we moving into a, a, a point in time where a gay is more accepted. Like I told you, people are starting to do content. People are starting to interact more with gay folks and stuff like that. And all that is cool. But as far as the straight acting men that have an image to uphold, it's harder for them to just up and, you know, a bit, which I'm telling you, it's going to be a time that comes to where it's going to be okay for to have kids but be up here fucking ass. It's going to come a time where it's okay for all that, but right now is not the time. Everything is time and a place. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's time. Whew. Okay, let's move forward. No Jumper. We did an interview on No Jumper. It's really, really popular. I remember seeing it. Um, Crip Man Yeah, we there. made you. Brick Baby Sharp was there. Mm-hmm. Three, of, three of the... The, the 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 henchmen out uh, with no jumper. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was fun. Uh, recently, no, no jumper. Money, Dijon Paul had came out the closet, and Flacco said that Dijon had cakes that had a recoil. <laughs> Do you feel that Flacco was suspect? Oh, Wait, Dijon. Recoil. Dijon Paul. Oh, who is that? He's he's the uh, no jumper host that has the uh, rap report card. Mm-hmm. Heavier set guy usually has a hat on. Okay, and he uh, said what? So he just he just came out. He just came out. He just um came out the closet for and being Flock, gay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And poetic Flacco, uh, if you familiar with Flacco? Yeah. Yeah, poetic Flacco. He ain't so. came out the closet yet. Because <laughs> <laughs> if what's McCall came out the closet, then why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he answered that question. I was going to ask. Oh, you, you was going to ask me. That. I was going to ask if, if Flacco was suspect because he said that Dijon had cakes that recoiled. And well, would you consider that suspect? Yeah, I'll ask cool, but even without you asking me that, I. That move. Like, okay. When I was up there at No Jumper, I don't think they really showed this part, but it was a part where I was twerking on Flacco. And Flacco was turning up. Like, you know, like, I don't know if they put that part out. I was wondering. I was looking for that. So I was like, you know, like, okay, maybe, you know, we are with the new time. So, I mean, I guess it's okay. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think that any regular man would let me do that. Hell, no. Nah, I appreciate you not twerking over him. <laughs> <laughs> Down here in A-Town, we... <laughs> okay. Get him on the phone. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's time to make a phone call. Yeah. Is that true or is that just for some internet shit? No, it's, t- it's time to make a phone call. It is okay? true? Oh, wow. Yeah, because Flacco so was talking about rich this. ass niggas so sucking dick behind shit. Yeah, P Flock. What's going on, P Flock? Damn. <sighs> Come on, Flock. Nah, 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 nah. We don't want to hear you making content and shit. Give him one more shot. Come on, Flacco. You got to defend yourself, man. Slaughter. He'll call back in. We we we. You said nah, that. Nah, just hurt. Just getting comfortable. I'm walking around. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, feel that shit. It's a little cheaply cheaply may. Hey, you already can tell, huh? I ain't felt no hard spots right here, so it's good. Pause. No ditty. I ain't felt nothing. Ain't seen nothing. Oh wow. There. That. I definitely. I definitely didn't. See it, but Mikey said he was there and he saw it. I'm twerking on him. Mikey said it, and and what's so cold is is because I understand Flacco do shit for content, but that was no content. It was, was no just... content. That was you letting the nigga twerk on you. <laughs> yeah, he, remember he was I rapping remember. the song and we loved like, the song. Yeah. He loved the song. He, he which he, I was like, it's cool. You can like music. People like music. Nah, like what they like nah, nah. Cause this right here took the cake. He, this he, right here, made even, him but like you're rapping and you talking about rich ass niggas sucking dick behind hey, tick. He like, he and likes then that. he's shaking ass on you while you sucking Wait, dick behind look, tick. This is Flacco we're talking. No about. No phones out, Church. No, I know this. That's why I said this just took it up a notch. I from he, him liking just liking the song. Cause at first when we talked to Flacco about it, he was just like, oh, I like the song, and he said it was funny. We were like, nigga, you just trolling. That was like then, when we was in Austin. He had. 
a moment like that. What? And I'm like, dude, he's twerking on you. He's like, no, he's not, cuz oh, he smacked the bros, dude on the- Bros, 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 bros. I'll pay attention to what he's saying right now, cuz he's talking about you. When we was in Austin, you remember the bullshit at the Airbnb? Mikey said I was there, it did happen. Bullshit at the Airbnb. Oh, when we went there and- Yeah, yeah. That shit Mikey just texted me, confirmed his will. <laughs> You don't even know what I said. That's what you get for not paying attention. No, I got a text. A text that came through. That's what I'm saying. I said You got it. Hey, multitasking this room. We was at Austin. testing you right now. Got it. Got it. Nah, because you agreed to the dude twerking on you at the Airbnb at Austin. Oh, no, that absolutely did not happen. But listen, since we're telling the story, Sharp, I ever told you the story how he got his name? I ever told you the No, but we're going to get to We got to, because we see, this is how we teach you. Don't try to get back in. You got, to get got, it. You got, got it. it. You got to address that now. Got it. Because he said it. <laughs> and then he brought it back up to you. He didn't even let it slide. So we got, got to address that real quick of got what it. took place in Austin. What the hell is he talking about? I have no idea about nobody twerking on nobody, but Austin was lit. Niggas was at South by Southwest. <laughs> Rick, like, why are you? I don't know nothing about. You trolling them or something? <laughs> nothing about <laughs> none of that. Oh my God! Yeah, tell me how. Yeah, she be on some bullshit. It was some bullshit. Oh, oh you want to know how he got the name bullshit. Shitty? You be on some straight drag, bro. Straight drag. How do you get his name Shitty? When we were listen. younger, right? Listen, don't, don't, don't. This is my cousin, y'all. Y'all, so I can go ahead. Story. Listen, don't listen tell to this nut ass nigga. He's crazy. Listen, listen. It's gonna be funny. You ready for this one? Yeah. This is how he got his name Shitty, y'all. Yeah. Listen to this. Exclusive. When we was younger, wow. very close. I like that energy. When we was younger, right? About 16. Say you were 17. So I'm at my aunt's house. Shitty in the back somewhere. She cooking. She said, go grab him. I go upstairs. I open the door. He was in love with this girl at the time named Big Brenda, right? From the neighborhood. Big Brenda in there eating his ass. <laughs> so I said, wow. I closed the door. He was no longer his name. He was Shitty from that point on. That's just his family nickname. So that's where the name Shitty come from, by the way. You that's shitty bastard. bastard. That's where it came from. You shitty bastard. They started calling me Shitty at 14, 15. Was you laughing like that? Hey, <laughs> hey, <when she> <laughs> <was> <laughs> no, because it was funny. I was laughing like that because I, I let them go on with the story, but he don't know. What they don't know was Big Ben had a strap. <laughs> And when he came in and closed whoa, whoa, the door, whoa, whoa, kind of it was shit on the ground because she pegged him. So it was shit. I just took the hit on the chin. Now that's crazy. That don't, that, that don't even that, sound logical. That don't even sound logical. You said you closed the door. I left. And you never, no, 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 no. I that's hate what I said. Part of this that's what I'm saying, bro. It was too much don't, for don't, me. Don't, don't, don't get the door there, then. It was too much for me. I had to go. Nah, but yeah, they start calling me shitty at 15. So you can avoid the lame, shitty joke. You got it all for the 12th time. You know what I'm saying? What so about- this, So this isn't true. Nah, it's true that 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 Chuck fucked him up though before. He That's got his ass whooped. True. The game whooped his ass before. That's the truth. That's definitely not true. Then what happened? So backstory, a lot of people don't know. My dad discovered game. He was signed to my dad publishing company, right? Not on no tough shit. But he the one, and his dad introduced him to Diddy. He was around Diddy his whole life. Tell the truth, nigga. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. It's a you, viral clip right now. You've been there Listen, before, nigga. Let me land. It's a viral clip oh, right now. Oh, land now. It's a viral clip right now where Game is saying all he did was party with Diddy. Y'all could probably find it or you could pull it up. It's super viral. It was on Vlad, I think, or whatever. But Game says he, back in the day, Puff wouldn't sign him. All he wanted to do was party. So I was a young nah, nigga fresh I ain't, off the porch. I didn't bring it up to talk about it about but, Game, but go ahead. You but to bullshit. that story, though, that's funny. Now go um, ahead. Me and Game had a light altercation. It was a fist fight. I was young at the time. Not on no tough shit. I'm just a man. He said something funny. Boxed him in his shit. And then that was it. Not on no tough shit. He's way bigger than me. Not like that. But that was a run in. It wasn't you the turned it down. Way. You scared. Just, no, 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 no. I just so uh, spooked, I don't want to. I don't want to overpop it like that because everybody know off camera how I really play ball. I dribble down for sure. Oh, SC. Uh, oh, SC, I boogie down. Uh, <laughs> All that crazy shit embarrassing us on camera like that. The family looking at you like a goddamn fool. That's brick. Hey, listen, brick no, no. No, that was shitty. The nigga nah, who got the name, like I told too. you. Yeah, so, what, 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 what? You know brick. I know shitty. Oh, he showed both. He <laughs> yeah. shows both. What he can't made, help it. What made you get into it with Gay? He said some funny shit. What made you get into oh, it? Oh, so at the time. You got into it with the game. You got into it with the game. At the time, we all living together at this crib. So believe it or not, it's me, game, 
Khloe Kardashian, a couple of us. Believe it or not, nigga, we believe it. So we gonna believe it. Cause this when Chloe was thugging. That's yeah, what this when Chloe was Chloe thugging was with us at the thugging. time. This she was pre like pre body work. This is, this is pre, pre all that. Pre all she that. wasn't the, one of the baddest sisters at the time. No, nah, no, nah, this was Chloe who was my dad's assistant at the time. So look at the motherfucker now. Now back to that. So we all got chores and like fake house duties and shit. So one person might gotta take out the trash. One person might gotta do this. So Chuck come in the house laughing, talking shit. He say something funny. I turn around. I hit him. He like what the fuck? It catch him off guard for real. Pops come through, he break it up, and uh, that was that. But yeah, shout out to Game though, man. That's my nigga. Game, you got 24 hours to respond to that bullshit. I know you whooped his ass. Not you true. I know you waited till D-Mac walked out, and you did your thing, man. Now, it, it, you didn't even shout out your dad. You a cold, selfish motherfucker. Cap, he don't like shout outs. Shout out D-Mac. One of the ones to do it the best, man. You know what I mean? Pause, but that's my one of, one of my favorite old guys in the city, man. The old player, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Definitely one of the top, my top ten old niggas in the city, and he's higher in the top ten than five. Shout out to pops. Shout out to pops. Yeah, man. But anyway, explain how it was around Diddy though when you was a kid. Though, like, like take us. Oh, the, got a Diddy story for us. I got a couple, actually. It was. Uh, I think one will probably do. Because he's already. <laughs> nah, he's, um, he been finessed out there. No, no. no. I, uh, I'm just saying for Diddy's sake. You know what I'm saying? Right about not, now. Not, it ain't not, for him. Not, it's just for Diddy's hold sake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. P. Flock, not P. Diddy. Hold on. Brick. Yo, Flacco. Yo, man. Yo, what's the word, my guy? Flacco. Yo, man, what's the word, man? What's up? You know. Recently, Tony Just say you know. Rich. Just say you know. Recently, yeah. you know. a clip has dropped on Ugly Money, Ugly Money Podcast. Yeah. Of your boyfriend, I guess, or your oh, soon man. to be. I don't know how it does, but, oh, but Tony oh, Wilrich, he oh, said man. that he was twerking on you while you were singing this song, gang. What's going on, brother? Yo, yo, here, right? So look. Okay, so the first thing is this, though. I'll be real, bro. I am severely disappointed in the OG, like Ugly Money Nietzsche, right? Because I feel like, bro, he's an OG A and shit, bro. Like, he's getting money, bro. Like, he's doing things, bro. Like, he don't need to, like, chase this type of content. You feel me, bro? Like, bro, like, and especially, bro, like, just, like, blatantly, like, lying. Why wouldn't he, though? It seems so fun over here. They think we're having fun with this content. They want that drama at their office yeah, now. Yeah, man. Nah, bro. Right? Nah, bro. Right? So look, rest the look, rest the look, bro. Like, I watched the clip and seen the title, and it was two different things, right? And this nigga said, um, and in the title, right, for me, right? Again, this is Nietzsche. And he said, said, um, and like in the title, Tony Rorris says, uh, he twerked on Flacco's me. I said, come on, like, come on now, bro. Nah, hell no, listen, not rest the look. But target on you and your, does it matter if it's the meat? If you letting a man twerk, I mean, it doesn't matter oh, what man, part of your body. Entertain that, bro. Yo, yo, what are you talking about? The fuck are we yeah, talking about? Yeah. Flacco, did the man twerk on you or not? Sure, but look at this, bro. Look, sure. Bro, but look, right? Now, look. If he never said though, that he twerked on me, right? And he, that's the look. He just did. Right? Right? He just said that he twerked on you, and you didn't come out the closet. Let's listen to him. Let's go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead, Flacco. Look. No, 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 wait, no, look. And he said... While I was twerking and he was turning up, right? Right? And he never said that he twerked on me. And he just said, like, and he was, like, shocked that as a straight guy that I'm turning up. So, I mean, like, two, 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 I'm, you know, you know the, um, the uh, like, actual song. While at, he was turning I had Tony Woolridge in on the FaceTime game. Wait, pause. I don't got, like... Number? Yeah, that was definitely no hey, that definitely no was ditty. a test. I, I I was praying that you said that you didn't have his number because you would have added it me. And first of all, you couldn't add him in with my number. But it was like I, I, I was about to say, nigga, I don't believe nothing you saying. So he's you heard what he said, Shark? Right? No, I heard what he said. You know, I'm sitting here, Flacco, and I'm listening to all this shit. You look. Um, I'm like a disgruntled, you know, disappointed father. What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, right. So look, so like the actual clip is on on my channel, right? Right, like, right, like, 
um, is he was performing the song, and we turned it up and say, feel me, right? Right. Who is we? Who is we? Who is we? You and him. He said you was turning up while he no, was twerking on you. That was when he was rapping it over there. So he, he wasn't That's twerking he on said. you. He didn't no. he didn't put his ass on you. No, no, hell no. Run the clip one more Run time. Run the clip one more time. So we bro. don't because we don't want oh, no. this to be inaccurate. Oh, no. I don't want Flacco oh, no. to be. Yeah. I'ma let you hear it out of my headphones, Flack. You might be able to hear it. Uh, uh, no. I watched the clip, but yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. I think it's like probably you could go about a minute in. Um, whew, okay, let's move forward. No jumper. Hold on, this fly. Right here. Hold on. Really, really popular. I remember seeing it. Um, Crip Mac was there. Brick Baby Sharp was there. Mm -hmm. Three of three of the the the, the, the henchmen out uh, with no jumper. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was fun. Uh, recently, No Jumper's Dijon Paul had came out the closet. And Flacco said that Dijon had cakes that had a recoil. <laughs> Do you feel that Flacco was suspect? <laughs> and Wait, Dijon? Dijon Paul. Oh, who is that? He's he's the uh, No Jumper host that has the uh, rap report card. Mm -hmm. Heavier set guy usually has a hat on. Okay, and he uh, said what? So he just he just came out. He just came out. He just um came out the closet. For and being Flock, gay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Poetic Flacco, uh, if you familiar with Flacco? Yeah. Yeah, Poetic Flacco. He ain't said, came out the closet yet? <laughs> you ain't came out the closet yet. Because what said, you call came out the closet and why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he answered that question. I was going to ask. Oh, you, you was going to ask me. That. I was going to ask if, if Flacco was suspect because he said that Dijon had cakes that recoiled. And well, would you consider that suspect? Yeah, I'll ask cool, but even without you asking me that, I. That move. Like, okay, when I was up there at No Jumper, I don't think they really showed this part, but it was a part where I was twerking on Flacco. And Flacco on was Flacco. Up. I like, was you know, like, I don't know if they put that part out. I was wondering. I was looking for that. So I was like, you know, like, okay, maybe, you know, we are with the new Send time. Us the link. So, I mean, I guess it's yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 but here's the actual link, bro. Look. But look, bro. Look, click on. It's right here. Hey, bro. Let me ask you, like, this. Man, look, bro, look. Man, look, bro, man, look, man. Flacco, Flacco. Oh, no, bro. I'm just like. Man, here, bro, listen. I'm and there, there's people in the office that's saying this happened, bro. Huh? There's people in the office, two people from the office that work here said that this bro, really happened. Link, so, 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 hey, look, look, man, come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Little bro, come on, gang. Yeah, we love you, bro, but like, come on, yeah, church. Look, so look, I, 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 just text you the link. So should I like, like. I'm like, about I, to airdrop, I can airdrop you the link. Or you want me to just send it to you? Send it, send it to Donnie. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Donnie's yeah, like, uh, no jumper email. You want it? Uh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> like, Damn, the fuck? why would you do that on, shit? <laughs> it's that, uh, oh, yeah, I'm about to send it to you. He yeah, said, Donnie, Donnie, he said, no fuck it. He said, yeah, Donnie, Donnie, no jumper. Donnie, no fuck it. Donnie said, fuck it. Fuck it. That was, Donnie said, fuck it. Hold up here, man. Look, that look. Look, right, so look. So, so look, so pull up that clip, Donnie, you feel me? And skip to the part where like, we performing at uh at the eight minute um and thirty-four second mark. Cause now this shit crazy. Now this bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, yeah, not come on, bro. That's what you Whoa. get for being friendly like that, Flacco. We tell you, like you can be friendly, but you can't you can't touch you have to be a part of the community. To as soon as they see you super friendly, they they think you one of them, bro. And you're trying to say that you're not, but you just you are. Yeah, yeah, bro, you are. <laughs> like, bro, yo, bro, like, and it's fucked up too, right? Cause, bro, like, and he's doing like an injustice for his peoples. You feel me? Cause, like, imagine, bro, like, injustice. right, like. If we was on some like, bro, man, bro, like, cause of him, man, bro, fuck this game. Together. Eight minute thirty four. Yeah, cause this is like three days worth of clips. Cause I got two, three different outfits on already. So I'm like, this can't be the same day. Uh, this that vlog. Oh, listen, you kind of got me looking at you different now. 
It makes sense. Yes, no, I low key. Deja makes sense. was the part of that interview. Sucking dick in a Bentley behind tent. Bitch, oh. I get money. I feel like Lil Runny. These hoes don't know if I'm a rapper or a playboy buddy. Ooh. Bitch, I got shooters and my bucks is getting tall as young. Wow. I'm Ooh. living in these bitches' head, but they ain't paying no rent. Five figures for that thing, it was worth every cent. Huh? Trash say she got that water, hurt it's dirty like Whole this. Line. I'm in a rich nigga, Ooh. bitch, it's a dick behind teeth. Brah. Come on, man. You hoes could never. You, you, could never. Never. Not you not bitches you could never, never man. Bitches. Come on. Hey. Sharp, sharp. I stayed smooth out Sharp the whole way. Right, Sharp was right there, too. What you mean? I was staying you up was the whole right, mix. Nah, nah, you was You tried to put me in there. It's all right. catch me, nigga. Because I knew there would be a day of reckoning just like this. And I made sure, nigga. Hold on, what you say, Flat? Bro, but you see how these gay niggas be doing, bro? Like, bro, we showed him. Bro, so, bro, so, bro, bro. Like, bro, we showed heavy love to the nigga. You feel me? Made his career. Bro, treating him good. And now he's going Pause. on for spreading gay rumors and shit. We were talking about, oh, Brick Baby was like, was like flirting with me too. Man, we man, was like, very man, respectful to that. He dude. said Brick Baby was flirting with him. Yeah, bro. Man, I ain't even talk to that dude like that, man. I don't even talk to guests unless, until we go on camera, gang. Because uh, I don't be man, wanting to. Oh, just, just, just uh, man. That was an interesting interview that day because some shitty. There was a lot of shit talked about that day. Yeah, that's because he was because he shit. was came up getting touched by fucking principals and all types of shit, bro. Yeah, you that yeah. nigga's story was many. I know he didn't say we was talking, cuz, cuz <laughs> <laughs> like you bitch ass nigga, nigga ain't even trying to. Hey, you can bring me back the water now. Hey, he said I know this nigga yeah, was saying we was I talking. Did. The hell if he didn't. The hell if he did. You friendly ass niggas. Full title is Gay Crip exposes Brick Baby flirting with him off camera. I thought he was dusty. Go, go to that. That's one of Flacco's five pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, probably Flacco, on one of Flacco's Flacco, five pages. Flacco, Flacco got me back. He knew about it already. He got me back, yeah. yeah, Flacco already <laughs> hit you with a slingshot, making the forehead. Bop. What was the like, title? Say the title one more gay, time. Gay Crips. Oh, it's gay a link to it already. Brick flirting with Tony. Oh, shit. Y'all oh, was wow. lining me up on my own show. You already been getting lined up. You been getting lined up. They been lining the nigga up. This nah, was going bad. on All right, here. it's Kill Squad, nigga. Yo, I got it. Yo, you need God. all that. Hey, cuz then look at the fuck it. Oh, that's how they playing. Shout out Ugly Money. Hey, Ugly Money, fuck you. Shout out, yeah. ugly. Shout out ugly Money, nigga. Nah, that's Keep my that nigga. that shit yeah, trib know, up there in that, that good old ATL, you. nigga. He know what that fuck you mean. Nigga, that's you in my city now, Atlanta, goddamn. Well, no. Oh, so was... wait, go towards the end then. Because we stopped it after the flock of shit. No, because this is a whole different clip right here. It's just in the same time. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. It's not the same clip, it's though. It's not we, the same No, nah, we watched a whole different one. All right. Play it. Uh, I'm not, I guess I ain't got, I ain't made it yet. I'm cool with that, Lock. though. I'm, uh, just, yeah, I'm, Here go. I'm good. Just pass, yeah, pass my by. I'm cool. Pause. <laughs> no, did he? Pass me by, okay? Um, Whack, Whack 100 had said that Brick Baby and Sharp and Crip Mac should have never had you on No Jumper because you were a misrepresentation of, of the culture. Can you speak on that? Whack need to show his whack up, his bald headed. <laughs> And worry about Blueface and not worried about Tony Miller. Where is game? You probably got an invitation too. Oh! Yeah. Well, whack. Tony has spoken whack. <laughs> what they say about Drake, you got 24 hours of response. <laughs> oh, man, that's. Let's let's just let's just finish up the whole no jumpers, okay? Uh, you and you and Brick Baby seemed like you guys had a a little spat or whatever. Um, I think you called him fake and claims uh, he claims you would have slapped him if he questioned your cripping. Mm -hmm. Is he your op for real? Yes. Well, um, he's not an op. It's somebody that I'm worried about. You know, you got people out here that's ops that like, damn, I gotta have my stick on me. Mm -hmm. He ain't one of the people that I gotta have my stick on me. He's just one of them that I know probably is going to walk right past me and not say nothing, you know, because he said a lot of shit in my inbox saying that he should have slapped me and he should have beat me up and all this other type of 
You said oh, you know, rolling I, I did. I ignored it. You know, I ain't never heard there, you say you know, none of that. In the um, I just feel like he very fake. You know, he went on to do other interviews to talk about me, but at the interview, he wasn't on none of that. He wasn't on none of that. Like, you know, like he was shaking my hand and shit. He was the first person to greet me at the door. He was waiting on me at the door. Like, you know, I, I was the oh. first nigga at the Flocko door. Shots fired. Flocko said, hey, there's one more y'all need to watch. <laughs> like, I'm thinking the security finna do me a wipe down. I'm like, damn, is you the security? Or do you work here up, up here at this moment? You know, this, so, bitch ass nigga. Um, this is why you don't be don't so be cool, nice like, to no motherfucking buddy. It wasn't none of that energy at mm -hmm. the interview. He was so cool and nice, and he was looking at like you know like. I, ain't gonna um, care. <laughs> I thought he was a little zesty because he was looking at me the whole. Bruh, time. that's not it. Flirtatious <laughs> shit going on. Talking about some like because I had told him a, a type of deodorant that I was wearing. It was like, what does that smell? That smell good. I was like, oh, that's this old spice deodorant I got on. He was like, nah, you got on some spice. <laughs> like, like he was like. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know? <laughs> like my homegirl thought he was cute. I was like, P, oh, where did all this take place? Because I was there. That's what I was saying, P. I'm laughing. You not gotta, I can't even bullshit. defend that. Like, P, when it's did bullshit. we talk about his deodorant, P? I never heard that in the conversation. Jesus. Or him saying something about your deodorant. That's crazy. What the fuck is this? His homegirl was choosing a little bit. Nah, he mad at uh, you, dang, because you kind of probably, like he said, no. you, you you got probably questions because you have been doing interviews. Let's talk about it. So yeah, that, yeah. You have been doing interviews. In interviews, you can't control, really. I mean, you can, but when a mother can say, hey, is there anything off limits? No, because there ain't nothing really off limits for us. We're gonna you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about everything. And it's always going to be, especially when this was going on for that last four months after, maybe even six months, people wanted to know probably how you felt about the Tony Wilbur exactly. situation. And so it's natural. That shit comes up. What he referring to in the DMs? The crib about another day crib. Was, he did me like, you fake as fuck. You in these uh, uh, interviews talking about... Uh, that you don't fuck with me and I ain't, I'm like, I never fuck with you. I said, a nigga was being nice. I said, cause really when a nigga see somebody like you in jail or something trying to represent that shit, I'm supposed to get off on you. I'm yeah. supposed to do something to you, gang. I sat down to have a conversation with you and told you that we don't agree with that at the end of the day. Like, uh, yeah, I let you hee hee ha ha, I'm at work. It's an interview, this is entertainment. I'm gonna let you entertain the crowd, but I'm gonna still get my message across non-confrontational. I felt like you and Crip Mac did. You get what I'm saying? Crip like, Mac did his go best ahead. job to try to do yeah, what he needed as to long do as you combo. ain't shooting no shot at me, acting like, but then this is what you get. No good deed goes unpunished. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't see all that. And to be honest, when they show the video of Flacco, Flacco curved him. Flacco, Flacco really got was right to the side. Flacco of it. really was just because Flacco. We did know that Flacco liked the song. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He, we he, already, he said that, that he day before, that. or yeah. the day before, or something, yeah. or right before. We didn't know nothing about Tony Real Rich until he got there, bro. We probably found out he was from Hoover two minutes before he pulled up. You remember we was like, "Oh, he a gay crip. He a gay crip." And they like, "He from Hoover." I'm like, "Damn." Do we sit down with cuz? Like, nigga, remember that was the whole thing at first. And then Crip Mac, like, man, I ain't sitting down with no overs. Ooh, whoop. Like, you know what I mean? Due to the fact, not on no, didn't know type shit. And he got the shit on his face if the nigga trip. But Crip Mac was still here waiting on the nigga to come. Then we seen a nigga flamboyant as can be, nigga prance through the door, nigga. Oh, with orange on. Like, didn't listen, he, didn't you he cannot he be a Crip. Didn't he say he ain't a Crip no more? Yeah, he said he back though. He had to pick it back up to do entertainment because he so now he's using the flag to entertain. Cause he just was on, but he just squared up with 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 C Mac on Drewski show. You seen that shit? No, I didn't see him. You didn't see the good of it. I mean, I know. No, I've been. I watched it, but I didn't watch all of it. You didn't see when they squared up with nah. each other. He like, cause you said that you wasn't a crip no more. You got to give me your rag, cause and he like, I'm not giving you shit. Tony Rivers was standing on been there. Mm. Mm, and nigga, mm, and he mm. like, well, we gonna need a fade or a DP or something. He hopped out there, like, nigga, I'm like, oh shit, cuz it clipped out. So I wonder, does that go for a, a, who, who, who go, who did, do you think the cast turned down the fade or do you think that Crip right. Mac, I, I'm not fighting no, uh, 
I'm not. Well, so this, it's not Chris Mack. Comes, I'll turn down the fade any day. Chris Mack will too. Like nigga, this, I ain't even tried to. Well, say hopefully, all me, this nigga. shit was just really nothing because that shit was kind of some bullshit. And Tony Wilridge, I don't know what that is, Church. Like, what what we doing, man? Just tell the truth. You enjoyed yourself being up here. It was a dope experience being in no jumper, and leave it for that. And you're not coming back. And yeah, I I mean, yeah, unless you yeah. go with Adam. I mean, you could go with Adam. Adam. Fucks around, so you know what I'm saying? You might, we ain't fucking with you. We really, we really made your career. That controversy, at first, niggas knew who you was. You was buzzing a little bit because we made it to where Drewski knew who you was. Because no way possible that everybody else would be, uh, would be reaching out to you. We got the Tony Rich with me, Flacco, or who was it? Me, you, and Crip Mike. Then you got the no jumper, just him and, Adam. Adam, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Right. Like I pretty much say that we gave you a boost over there, and you I feel be like running around talking shit, you fucking weird. And you know what's so called is because now we don't even need to speak on it no more. We exactly. Just move on to the next topic, like, hey, church, we said what we said. Like he know what it is deep down inside. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> Let's get on to the next one. Um, we got a uh, academic's girlfriend leaks a phone call. I really don't give a fuck about that because bitches. Nah, we, we getting into that. If you want to, let's get it. We getting into that. Bro. He definitely probably got a kick out of your the the uh yeah, but he ain't say nothing. Sharp gate. Yeah, but he ain't say nothing. That's good. So I got it. You know what I'm saying? Straight for each other. For me, on, it's on, on you. No statements, nigga. This you one, this one's on you. I, Which I'm you. with you. I, hey. I fuck with you, but fuck you. No, you I still fuck him. Glizzy. It's still fucking, but I'm saying like. To leak in a phone call, whatever the no, case may be, nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't like that's whole shit. Why you won't come to me? You know I've been like begging you to come. You know I've been literally just like upset, hurt, it might be damaged AI. over you, and like you just ignore all that, and then you're like, oh no, the, yeah, the reason why I don't do that is because you gotta miss it. That's gaslight. So like you don't want to talk to me when I called you yesterday and I called you 50 million times and you finally answered because like you're the whatever guy you're with the probably said damn why you the phone keep blowing up you know what you fucking look at me and say nigga stop talking to me I'm going on a fucking day you know when I called you like nights ago when you were at some nigga's apartment and nigga I watched your fucking location you, 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 you know what I was even thinking I'm like bro if any time I ever was doing bad and you called me, nigga, I fucking ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you. Just to be like, baby, come on, you know I love you. I'm like, like I'm trying, nigga, you stayed there till 7 p.m. It just told me, it was like, bro, you have this woman, she doesn't give a fuck about you. You got to get over this shit because she's going on with her life. She wouldn't do these things to you. You're calling her, she doesn't even care to explain she doesn't even care to whatever. My nigga, you were talking to her. This is what's like hurt, and hurt me the most. That zero fucking emotion. There's nothing. There's nothing that even says, baby, you know I love you. You know, like, I, was, I still want to spend my life with you, but like. All right, yeah, I'm not into that. I don't think that, uh, because it's like, I don't think so. Like, bitches exposing a nigga that, like, you're supposed to be your nigga, but then at the end of the day, he keep playing himself out of shit, gang. Like, 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 this the same bitch that peeled you for 500 bands, Yeah, stop talking to that bitch. Like, stop talking to that bitch. She over there giving the money. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to hate on pimping that's that sending the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't really she trying to get in the way. I was going to do it on a solo tip. <laughs> but you know what? To just keep dragging it out and playing these type of games, like that bitch tripping on me. She need to chill. Either go fuck with your nigga or shut the fuck up, bitch, and move on. There's two ultimatums out of that. Like, straight up. And this a nigga I don't even fuck with. Fuck him, nigga. He still on me, bro. He's still a whole ass nigga. But still, when it comes to the bitch, like I don't like gotta, when bitches use the nigga like that's that on either. for their relevancy. I don't need like, it. like, like you not really. That means getting, you ain't got no motion. Thank that's you. why you absolutely have zero fucking motion. You, that's you, what that you, means. You, you you don't have shit to no. stand on. People don't give a fuck about your day to day. So you involve me with your day to day in order for your 
social life, your social networking to grow? What, like, bitch, because who are you? What does she do? I mean, because the person that she was coming to do the interview with is a And I say this in a, a general, a fucking general statement. Student. What's a lot of these bitches? It's a general statement. What's a lot of these bitches that come out? What do they really have going on? Honestly, church. If you got to do all that, you trying to click like I said, first I'm like, damn, yeah, it's fucked up. Like, damn, bitch, you're going through it. Then you kind of, when you see a bitch just keep creating that pattern, keep creating that pattern, it starts to turn into a fake cry for help. Oh, uh, sick, so. Like, it's a fake cry. Like, you acting like you're going to, bitch, but you're really not. you you playing sick. You're playing hurt. Under that, homie. Bitch, you don't really give a fuck. That nigga just said, hey, bitch, you, you can, you'll answer after me calling you 50 million times and tell me, nigga, stop calling me. I'm going on a date. Yeah. To try to crush a nigga. Which I ain't gonna lie, church, you gotta play a bitch to her, but I mean, I yeah, get it. But at the end of the day, he's not coming off as, this the thing, it would hurt him if he was coming off as this player ass nigga that don't give a fuck about no well, bitch that was or his nothing bitch. like that. This is his bitch. That was his bitch. Nigga hurt. He's hurt. That he was hurt, his bitch. bitch. You playing games, and then I nigga, tell, I can I hear already, his voice. he already didn't send you to jail over the 500. Let you back in out, but I mean, you mashing on cuz. If he's mashable, then mash on cuz. I just was saying. 500,000 is dang. 500,000, like, that's cuz. crazy. That's a hell of a trap, gang. 500,000 is crazy. You nigga, what? Bitch, Why you are you even me. letting a bitch come around you that took a half a million dollars from you? How did she even, what? how was that even accessible to her? Her, she must hold his darkest secret. Bless you. Thank you. Like, why was that even accessible to her? If a bitch take five Fuck from you, deepest, you darkest secrets, nigga. They can all come out camera. at that point. <laughs> bitch, you not running off with your five bands. Y'all yeah, don't know if I could say on camera what I do, bitch, run off with my five hundred thousand. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, Listen, nigga. Gay, you talk about they can all come out, but what if they got, what if it's some cold shit? And watch what you do. Exactly. If you know, if, if it can't come out, you might not need to be doing it. Exactly. Straight up. Oh, brother. That's I, I mean, but these fuck, niggas. Dude, fuck these bitches and they sick ass, weird ass narratives, nigga. We can't stand on that shit. That should be weird well, because if, you know what? What if it's bitch, a Cassie You know what I noticed, though? though? What if bitches, it's a Cassie? Bitches sit back on couches, right? Or they'll sit back in the lawn chairs, dog, at the river. They sit like this. They just throw their pole in the water oh, and brother. see what bites. Oh, yeah. brother. That's all it is. Oh, okay, this don't work here. Let me change the line real quick. Boom, let me throw this out in the water. Oh, shit, it's hooking. Here, let's keep this going. Oh, it's not hooking me no more. Let's me change gets the his bait. attention. Me, me being yeah. fucked up yeah. to him gets his attention. Me being yeah. nice to him doesn't really... You get what I'm saying? They, all right, so I'm going to take the mean approach when I want to fuck his day up. Because if I do anything and don't pay him no attention, then he's just not going to pay me attention. I have to throw a wrench in his day some type of way. Hey man. They're never fishing to, to for happiness, though. No. They say that they're looking for happiness, but they do the most tormented shit during relationships. Well, like, who's looking for happiness in another nigga's phone? Hey, you know this nigga's cracking. How are you looking for happiness in a relationship? It's impossible. Through your, your it's impossible. Other phone? No, you know what it is? A bitch is looking for something to get herself away from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, if you got a problem, you ain't got to look for nothing. Just Leave. say you don't want to fuck with a nigga. You don't got to go and try to look for something to try to have to leave. Yeah. People always think that when you in any type of relationship, situationship, that it always has to end bad. Sometimes y'all can just say, hey, call it quits, my nigga. And hey, you didn't work for me. I didn't work for you. Sometimes that is okay. Everybody always That's thinks true. somebody got to be a fucking fault or somebody got to be a blame, brick. In a situation like that, bro, it, somebody got to be a blame, especially for a bitch, nigga. She got to be able to tell all her friends or anybody that asks about you in the future what happened to you. It's got to be 100% your fault. Exactly. She don't want to look goofy to none of her people. She's not going to say nothing she did. Never. Nothing. She's never going to. You got to accept that. Yeah. That's just the fate that only, we hold as Only men. the shit that you did. It's the most only thing going to hold weight. Like, oh, just say. Yeah, it's the only thing going to hold any weight. Just say. Oh, somebody hits a female. They're not gonna say that they charged at him, called him a bitch ass nigga twenty million times, and told him that he's a hoe and he's better off sucking. Just, just saying crazy shit, trigger words that niggas can't take. Or and bitches the know is, they're saying that they reach, to do it. They're yeah, reaching for yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, you reaching. You ain't gonna and do then that. When a motherfucker, like, yeah, then when a motherfucker reach out, and pop their ass, then it's like, oh shit, now I'm using that. Now I'm victim. Finally, I'm victim. But you're sitting there bullying him the 
the hardest harassing him, standing in hey, front of the door while he's trying to walk out. Hey, the hardest but soon to be easiest thing is getting away. Once you get away, yeah, it might be a little hard because you know what? You be used to a motherfucker. That's what you cling to. You be used to him. It ain't nothing good that they can do necessarily for you. You just used to fucking with them. And yeah, you it's might. Part of your everyday you program. Might, you might, yeah, they're part of your everyday program. Yeah, you're going to miss them for a little bit. But I promise you, when you start to see how your life gets better and there's other things that now you can put your time to, your mind to, that can help fill that void, fill that gap, because you're taking all the negative negativity out of it and that gap, and you're putting positivity into the mix of it. Yeah, yeah. And you start to see that you prosper and you can carry on to something better. Bro, you, you really see like, damn, I should have did this sooner. But at the time when it's happening, it's hard to do. Exactly. Especially when you've built something with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I can get it. I understand. And I feel like that's kind of what he going through, in a sense, is he actually built something with this girl. How Like, academics, he's a fucking weirdo. He's a retard. But he, he, he ain't fucking, he ain't dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knew he ain't tripping on that girl. He would have got his 500 back. Nigga would have figured it out. I believe he would have. You feel For me? Sure. Hey, you he know let what? that happen because he really do fuck with that Look girl. Look how karma you know worked. I was supposed to give you that, that money, that hunt done, right? He was supposed to give you that honey bun. And then look what happened. He lose 500. <laughs> He rather, but you know what though? He rather give it to the bitch like that. Karma. And the bitch still tell you she don't give a fuck about you. She going to go see the next nigga, and you still cool with it. Instead of looking like a real nigga, instead, instead of being no like, bro, bitch. enough is enough, my nigga. You got you know, bread. You know how money make you look cool to the bitch. You man. know you how much of a real nigga. Bitches. You know how much of a real nigga act would have looked like if he would have paid the money off that bet. Oh, nigga. The realest. He the streets he ain't even got so yeah, the streets. The streets wouldn't even. Uh, and I know he don't give a fuck about yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Man, he but he would have had a way seven. bigger fan. Man, what? Paid the bet up and wish another street nigga would. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, that shit was nothing. I can respect that My bitch ran nothing. off with fire headed, nigga. This shit <laughs> ain't nothing, nigga. I'm still putting dick in that bitch mouth after. And then he could pop it like that. Like, man, this shit ain't nothing. <laughs> and then, you know, when I saw this video right here a while back, right, when he was saying, like, he was the prize, like, when he got into it with, you know, he was out there, and I think, I don't know if he was with Baby at the time. I think that was a chick. And she was fighting. Nigga snatched her bag. See, yeah. I'm going to give you some game, gang. You think you can control a bitch through materialistic shit? You can't. You can't, bro. Nah, the bitch gonna be the nah, bitch no matter sure. what. She's yeah. either yours or she's not. Yeah. You can't be like, I bought you this bag. I, I, yeah. I bought, that's like treating her like a kid, matter. nigga. And she's grown now, bro. She don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. They make jails yeah, sure. for that grown ass bitch. Come you don't on, give a man. fuck, nigga. If she out here throwing temper tantrums oh, to take yeah, little yeah. shit from her, bitch, you about to go sit down. You about to reap what you sow. Oh, reap yeah. these consequences. <laughs> nigga, don't just grab her fucking bag. You should have walked off from that bitch. Bitch, fuck you and that bag. Oh, yeah. How about that, Let bitch? bitch look Let her see that it was the prize soul. that she oh, lost yeah. and not you grabbing her bag and screaming it. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. It's a difference in the way that you can move on that situation. Uh -huh. I mean, when a nigga go in the silence, when you when you go in the silence on the bitch, the bitch respect it, they get 10 times more. And sometimes it make them blow up crazy or 10 so times what? more. But fuck so it, what? you got a better the chance bitch, at you that. You know what's going on. You got a you better chance I'm, at you, that. You know that you can't alone. fuck over me. What is this? Straight the up. clip of, 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 of this nigga. He said, you got demons to, oh shit. Who is that? A white boy punching on you? Or is that his boxing cup? Nah. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Oh, I love to put some gloves on with you. I love to put some gloves on with you. Accuracy is everything. This. I only yeah, got like a hot 60 this. seconds in me, if that, and I'm probably going to be gasping for air, but nigga, Man, I'm connected. He's swinging. He's not even looking at him. Why he keep running? Come here, bro. They're both trash. Bro. Why does he keep doing this and running? It? Go back. I got to see that one more time. Hey, you better stop talking, nigga. Oh, uh, they gonna slap you open. I never took him serious from none nah, of that shit. No way. Look but, at this. This ain't even form. How are you hitting a nigga going backwards? Every every punch he's going backwards. Look. They don't move the furniture for look, nothing. Look. How are you gonna win going backwards? At least old boy charging you. 
There's no it, this thing is no, running in the right deck. There, he could have called like that. He could have got folded. I saw the whole play. I said, oh, 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 Little Ooh, step left over there. Uh, hey, right when, he, when he turned yeah. around right shit. there too, that's dangerous because if nigga somebody punch you in the back of the ass. head and that too, that's just for shits and giggles. But yeah. if a nigga hit you in the back of the head like that, you could really fuck somebody over for real. Uh, that's that's crazy. crazy. Nigga turned around on me. I ain't even finna break my hand on back. I'm kicking him in his ass. Yeah, you, act, you act, come here. You in boxing? <laughs> hey, hey, brother. Your ass back over here. What'd I you? get it. I said for first. So for act in boxing, right? Like. I get it, brother. You want to get some cardio in? You want to try to catch a win? Try to get some, hey, man, that's cool, but don't be showing nobody that shit. Yeah, man. If that's shit you keep to yourself. So, listen. And I get the bitch leaked it. I get it. She was being a punk rock. Yeah. So, I guess it really don't none matter. None of that counts. Like, you yeah, win none of that, that story. Like, We're not going to make fun of None of it even counts, bro. I yeah. can't even. Like, we can't even it, make fun of you because the bitch I'm is cool. the one that, 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 put, that put the business out, gang. You I'm know cool, what I mean? bro. Ain't nobody going for that one. So, listen, man. One take. We yes, got sir. you here, man. Yes, sir. So, this is your 10 minutes of fame, man. Nah, I just play. 10 minutes. You been that nigga, bro. Of, Listen, you I'm called me to and you told me, hey, 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 I seen you on Love & Hip Hop. This was 2012. Yeah. Yeah, don't 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 get to tooting your own horn, nigga. Beep, beep. I'm over here, nigga. <laughs> Matter of fact, go ahead. <laughs> so, you no, know no, what I'm no, 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 I'm receiving nah, nah, my flowers. Nah, I, I don't have you. no ego. Nah, go ahead. Nah, Thank nah, you, cuz nah. I appreciate it. But that. you been that nigga, man. Uh, walk us through how you got on the scene. You, 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 you was in the field in the 30s. And what, what, what changed your life to where it was like, I'm going to go with this camera? And For me, growing up, it was a duality, right? So the balance was the streets, the hood, and Hollywood. So I got to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And for me, just being in balance with both, it was a transition where I could either go full-fledged street or full-fledged with the camera, right? So long story short, I'm at a party. Some shit go down. Shootout happened. Car, high-speed chase damn near ensues. Car flips over. And I'm like, how many times am I going to keep doing this? But the reason I'm at that party it is because gets wrapped I'm, around I'm, the pole. Yeah, the car gets wrapped around the poles. But the reason I'm even at the party is because I'm filming. I just got a camera. Shout out to Desto Dub. I know him as Double O, but shout out Desto yeah, Dub. This is the o. first person that booked me yeah. for, a, for a camera job, right? Yeah. So I'm at this party. I'm filming Dub Party. I'm with the homies, of course. This it's, back in the G. It's way back. I could talk about it now. The statute of limitations is up. But... uh. I'm at this party, I'm filming, we leave, we go to a gas station, some niggas follow us, we get into a shootout, they follow us behind us, we smash, car flip over, hit a pole, I survive, and at that point I'm just like, damn, I really gotta figure out life, because again, how many times, because I keep doing the same dumb shit. How many people was in the car? Me and my homeboy KP, but it was four of us originally, two of the other niggas ran, I ain't gonna say no other names though, but. Did your, your people get hurt? Nobody got hurt, ironically, and again, because what the officer happened. tell you when, when you when you when when they seen you at the at the scene? Man, the officer was like, "Fuck the shootout! How did y'all survive this car crash?" He was like, "The car crash so treacherous. Look what y'all did to this tree. We was on the tree. We was doing eighty down the side block. Turn left. The car flip over." Yeah. So after 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 that experience, that's what led you to what you you was like, "Fuck it." The camera survived the car crash. <laughs> yeah, survived I survived the car, the car crash. crash and the camera. So I'm like, you know what? That's a sign from God, man. Let me go ahead and take this shit serious. So I get my camera. I go to the A. I'm in Atlanta. At this time, this is 2009. Dollar on fire. Rest in peace, Dollar. He had a song called Who the Fuck Was That with T-Pain. Shout so, out, Dollar, man. Shout out my boy, Buck. Rest in peace. We running around Atlanta. Uh, real tiny um, little. From Dollar, I meet Alley Boy. Shout out Duct Tape. Rest in peace, Dave. Rest in peace, Trouble. Rest in peace, Dave and Trouble. Damn. Moment of silence for Dave. Yeah, yeah. Dave just passed he away just a couple away. days so, away. Um, <clears throat> go. Yeah. I'm in Atlanta. Big I'm figure around. in Atlanta. DTE Dave, man. Eastside Dave, man. Zone six hamp. greatest, Zone man. six. Nigga, I'm going to give you real flowers. Real Edgewood nigga, man. Yeah, bro. He was a real staple in Atlanta. He just passed away his funeral this week. Oh, rest in paradise, man. Yes, yeah, sir. For real. So I'm running around with Dave at the time. And again, with Alley Boy, Trouble just come home. So I'm doing music videos in the A. I'm booming in the A. 
at the time, it's a young nigga coming up named Young Thug, right? I meet Young Thug, he about 17. I'm doing videos for Young Thug, 2 chains. So I'm just running around the whole little Atlanta circuit. Then I know you playing with MPA and them, and you started the whole shit with Longway. Me and you end up doing some work down there. You came down with Kid Inc. a couple times too to Atlanta. And um, yeah, the resume just built from the from the cameraman in Atlanta. And I came back out here, did some shit with Snoop Dogg and Problem, did my whole West Coast run. And then I look up after it, you been shooting videos, you shot videos for the best of them in Atlanta. I look up and now you on reality TV, you, you, you with Stevie. You with Stevie, Uncle Stevie J. Oh yeah, which is uh, diddy out. Like you, you, you find yourself in a lot of diddy hey, situations. You know what's so crazy? I you know always, I mean? I'm right there, but I'm always behind the scenes. So it's that's like, even worse. It's I know so much shit. I didn't come here to expose nothing or nothing like that, but I know so much shit because I'm a cameraman. I was always a fly on the wall, but I'm doing videos for Jocelyn at the time. So boom, I get to love and hip hop. I do two seasons of that. I'm Jocelyn's cameraman. I'm running around with that whole circuit. Shout out to Jocelyn. And then the shit, like I said, the resume just kept going and going. Like every other piece of culture, I was there with the camera. So uh, you and DJ Sky High, baby, what, what's, what's the relation here? How did you end up running in the sky? I met DJ Sky on the set with Young Thug. She was a... Uh, Young Thug's tour DJ at the time. This had to be 2014, I meet mean, Scott. Was she a tour DJ or was she the local? She was a tour head DJ. therapist. She was, no, 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 no. I don't know I just play that it, it, it. Well, <laughs> fuck it, kill squad. She, was uh, you sucking dick or no? <laughs> <laughs> she was a tour DJ for Slime. Uh, shout out to Slime, Free Slime and everything. She also did some work with French Montana, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, recently she, she did. But French. I'm saying back yeah, no, in the no, gap, no, back no, in the no, yeah, I yeah, meet yeah, Sky. Yeah. I meet Sky on some Young Thug, Atlanta, YSL shit. And uh, again, she the tour DJ, I'm the cameraman. And we just always had that relationship through the industry like that. So y'all shot content together. Where, 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 where do y'all lock in? Is that your sister? That's your Oh, Sky, like what I said. That's your no, bitch. No, 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 not that's at all. Not, that's not my girl at all. The, uh, Sky is definitely a little sis for sure. You know how you just got homegirls that got bad homegirls? You don't want to mess with that homegirl because she going to put you down with other homegirls? That's how Sky is. Sky always had bad homegirls around She's her. She's definitely the party. She's oh, wait, definitely listen. the party. In 2020, she right? All the bad bitches through. So She's 2020, definitely gonna turn up. The, and she ain't no hoe like that. And no, not at all. In 2020, that's when the pandemic happened. Me and Sky decided to have a strip club in my house because all the strip clubs shut down in LA. And this the pandemic. Oh, I was on some shit. Yeah, this the pandemic. I got the stupid crib in the Hollywood Hills at the time. So Sky like, Don, I got some girls that dance at the club. All the clubs is closed. So yeah, they got to dance some somewhere. Yeah. So they come to the house. We do that the whole summer doing out, throughout the pandemic off the chain. Went crazy. Went too crazy. So what was you cutting off of off, off, off the dough, man? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, how do you eat at a, with a strip club at your house? Was you paying the house fee for the girls to come strip? So was they paying the house what fee? I, what, what I learned about the strip club business like people don't even know about just let's talk about the money part of that's the what i was saying business. you could no no no, not not the back the end ones. yeah the ones yeah. let's just talk about that part a lot of people don't know we know we've been in atlanta yeah, we, we know how the strip club shit work so right? that's what i said what was but, you cutting so you know i'm slime 85 off of it boy you might get a 70 fuck with me oh <laughs> dirty dancer <laughs> Dirty man. Dirty yeah, that's what hey, you know i'm slime dirty you man. might get a 70 nah um we ran it like Atlanta, so it'd be like 85, shit like that. Yeah. So you get, what we're talking about is, out of a $100 stack, you get $85. You're not getting a whole 100 Yeah. I was just fucking around saying I was giving you 70. I'll give you $85, we get 15. So that's one aspect that of That money is never counted. You guys never actually know what you get in that. You're not going to thumb through that $100 You're bill. not counting 100 you singles in a club. So you popping that band and throwing that shit in the sky. Usually at a at a at a club that's doing well, you might get you ninety five to ninety dollars out. So of you got fifteen off every hundred. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, and your shit doing yeah. your own shit. But and no, no, that's how the strip club circuit strip work in club general. Do it too. That's they, where I learned. Never get hundred. I'm breaking this part of the game down from yeah. from being on that part. I'm always a cameraman going in. Well, you like, know they'll give you uh they'll give you all your money if you already doing like VIP champagne rooms. 
They still taking some money. They still cutting. They still grabbing. They, they're pre They have to make they're money off the money. money you got to think about it. Every some strip, of them strip club clubs in Vegas, you know, they got their own funny money. Oh, that's um, you throw. So, they yeah, you'll come. Yeah, there's some clubs like you change it in for their shit. So they're going to cut anyway. Yeah. Because they have off to the get the bitches back the money to make it real money. So yeah, I learned yeah. strip clubs like the club that. funny money. Did you charge a house fee too? Like like house like fee as well. Charge, yeah, like, so like, the girls. Well, pay. that's where the club eats. It wasn't so, even off to every hundred dollars. Like out there, yeah. dog. The clubs eat, man. Them bitches. You got bitches in Spearman Rhino, dog. Come in at two o'clock. They're still paying one fifty house fees. Yeah. So that, look, yeah. our, house fee was, house, our fees. Fee, house fee was two hundred to two fifty. Because remember, the money was big in twenty twenty. Everybody had it. The three letters was booming. Yeah. PPP, this yeah. that third ABC yeah. one two yeah. three. You know what I mean? So at this time, that shit going crazy. So our house fee was a little more expensive. So at the time, nobody's outside. Everybody's in. The hottest spot at the, in the whole city is in my living room. So back to that house fee. Yeah, that, the bar, the door, VIP. We got rooms. It worked just like a club. And that's how me and Sky even got more cracking in LA and her introduction in LA. Yeah, so you go on and... All, all, all of the above. So you being with Khloe Kardashian, how did that work out for you in the future? Um, well, that trickled down. I met Khloe Young. She was running around with my pops back in the day. She was really fake like his assistant. And then uh, my mom was doing time in jail. She invented a brush, a three-in-one. And when she came home, it's called a Baby Hair Edge Pro. I had Khloe endorse it. And Khloe endorsed it. It did a, a decent amount in the week. We went crazy. And... Um, the rest was history. After that, Kim endorsed it because she's big on prison reform. Then Northwest, her daughter endorsed it. And yeah, you I, called me to come back outside. Rumored, so here I am. You rumored to, to, to do a million a week, man. They say that the breast did a million a week after the Northwest post. Yeah, no, that was before. Chloe, we made a million dollars in a week just with Chloe Kardashian posting the product. Uh, North, we did high over two and a half. Yeah. So we'll get a little bit more. It's, I'm just introducing the world to one take down, man. He's legendary cameraman, my cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? That's who shoots all the don't be lates. This is, uh, you know what I mean, the main man, you know what I'm saying? But you'll see more of him, and it's interesting because he knows something about the news that we just broke. Oh, real uh, shit. The Crips and the Bloods LLC has been... Uh, Somebody's claiming that they own the Crips and the Blood LLC, and it, it 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 was rumored that it was somebody who owned it and everybody. But now it came out that the royal family of L.A. we have obtained the rights to the Crips LLC and the Bloods LLC and trademark also because a lot of people get confused <coughs> in the chat, and I notice a lot of people responding in the comments saying, "Oh, it's a LLC, it's a LLC." No, it's actually a trademark, and it's not just a word. It's the whole organization, which is a community revolution in progress. But we're going to get the owner on No Jumper as an exclusive to break down the lawsuit as well with Killer Mike and Big U and everybody that just got mentioned in the news the other day. Well, you should go on to mention everybody else because it seems as though you're just jugging that two people. Well, who else was mentioned in that lawsuit? Oh, uh, Courtney Seals, which is higher level bear. I just read the whole thing the other day when you said it, so I'm reading all 80 pages. Not only Courtney Seals, Exotic Pop, the people who put the soda out, they mentioned in the lawsuit. Diddy's mentioned in the lawsuit for endorsing it. And then uh, I believe Netflix, because you could check out the documentary about Cripple Cola on Netflix under trigger warning. Well, why do you think that they targeted uh, Killer Mike as one of the first people to caused the, infr to the trademark infringement and the cease and desist. Well, after looking at you drop, drop the news and reading it, it just has more to do with infringement. And just for me looking at infringement, it's standing on something that has nothing to do with you. So if you're doing something to someone that has nothing to do with you, you could get in trouble. But I think he got targeted because he made it a thing without getting the proper clearance about it. Through the culture or through the, the, the people at the LLC? I just think through legality, through the LLC. Like, if you're going to put something out there, right, 
and you don't own it and it's trademarked, it's just like the Hells Angels. When the Hells Angels did it, it's a big motorcycle gang, right? And they sued Disney. Prime example, a movie came out, a motorcycle movie with Tim Allen. I can't think of the name of it right now, but they end up suing Disney. Some shit like, if I'm not mistaken, like what, Road Hogs or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, Ground Hogs, like Old Hogs. It's something some about hogs. some old dudes getting together, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, I know, I remember what you're talking about. The Hells Angels end up I suing Disney right now. because about it. They had the trademark. So, because they had the trademark, you can't infringe on their trademark and have put a Hell's Angels jacket in the movie. And you can't do that. So, I figure anybody infringe on any trademark just got to pay the consequences, just how it goes, the law. So, it would behoove you to do homework on what you're about to invest your money into. Because at any moment, if you don't own the full rights of what you're doing, it can come back in the ugliest form. For sure. And the lawsuit doesn't state, because you read through it now, like, does it state anything about the price? It's a $50 million lawsuit from what I read. So between all the people involved. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. It's not just the soda that came out with the trademark. It just has to do with the branding as a whole. Netflix is a big company. How many people got Netflix on their phone or on their computer? A, a lot, lot of people. people. Was this your plan all along? No, 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 no. I don't own it. I'm on the board. But we're going to get the owner on there. Yeah. We just on the board. We just on the we're board. We're here to represent. All the information on the website. It's on CripsWorldwide.com. Crips Worldwide. I just do Nation the marketing. Nationwide. I'm like spokesperson. Red, ride, rip, riders. Just curious, you remember man. that shit? You got to be yeah. down. Then you yeah. can't be a hoe. No. Yeah, man. But you know what I'm saying? We are definitely uh, the Kill Squad campaign goes right mm -hmm. along with the uh, and break that down because they, they got it fucked up. They don't know the Kill Squad is really an initiative for cyberbullying because you were cyberbullied, right? I was cyberbullied and I ended up crashing out in resort of being put my back against the wall through being cyberbullied. And uh, people reached out to me and said, just look away. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like staying my business. And I was, and, 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 and it was Church like, I got tough skin. Me too. I got tough skin, but so I wasn't as affected as, as, as much yeah. as the rest of the kids, but I felt that I should get involved mm -hmm. with kids that are going through this that don't have control, that don't know that they motherfucking making new Gen 4, Gen 5, Glock 19, Glock 23, Glock 41, Glock. It's all type all of the Glocks. models right. that they're making every day that will whoop a bully's ass. You get what I'm saying? So they they don't know that. And we don't want to promote violence. So what we going to do I was just about to help. say, that shit sounded yeah. crazy. No, I'm saying. I'm just telling you. I, <laughs> no, I, it's I, the I opposite have to know. All the cowards. You went from a negative yeah. to a positive. Yeah, it I did happen sound to wild. know that. I happen to know that, but. The kids, they don't need to be shooting at motherfuckers or going to go try to get no get back with they bully. We going to kill them. We have a campaign for that. You get bullied, you tap in with the kill squad. We all charged with sticks in the chat. We sticking out their comments. The all of the right bully, here. all the bully, all the bully comments, all the bulliers, the all of those pages are getting wiped. The YouTubes are getting wiped. I am allowing the non-nomadians to do the wildest things on the internet. They are reporting you. I just happen to be the the corporal, not the corporal, the general. So I'm a chairman uh, of the, the nomads, the, bro. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? I really, I'm that's, trying that's to figure the, out that's the mob where part. we're trying to figure that's this the, out. Because there's the real part. niggas that's really going to stand on business through this shit. But the vibrant like, mask is for everybody. To it get is. involved. It is. I don't want gay people getting bullied. I don't want nobody. Yeah, no, it ain't cool already, for nobody you know to get bullied. But you know, some of us that can handle it. What's up? Yeah, but it's do like, it to the <laughs> nomads. The ones that can handle it. Because the nomads and the niggas we that come from. So you say you're not kill squad, sharp, or you are? Kill I am squad. kill squad. Okay, but you kill squad nomads. Yes, sir. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Church on the move. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Definitely kill squad nomad is definitely one of our chapters that don't take no shit. Mm -hmm. That's the Malcolm X, and the liberal side is the Martin Luther King. Yeah, you know I mean the nomad is by any means necessary. You don't fuck with them nomads like that at all. You get what I'm saying? The nomads pop out with the all black mask on. You know what I'm saying? Which so, will be know, available. 
very soon. T- tomorrow. It will Killsquad.com, be, right? For will, be, will be available or for no. purchase. Where's Kill it? Squad. And no. A-X-L-L Squad. But S Q U A D dot com. Kill Squad. Uh we will add the mask on to the website, but we're gonna raffle the first. Yes, mask that's what on. I was about to it's say. Very, in the chat. We got some that are already in hand. Yeah. That we can kind of raffle off and make sure and everybody we don't want to be stitched and go live and they be going in, yeah, in that's, 10 minutes and our real fans didn't get them and they have to get reset. So what we're gonna do is I wanna really turn it up a notch, but I don't want to be selfish to the ones that's outside of California, but I was going to say a live raffle. Yeah, that could where be. Where we I all mean, go down on Melrose. Both. We could do both for real. I yo. mean, I think we should do both because, you know, there's people from all over and we need some of them people to touch that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need, like they, we need the people. They've been fucking with us. There's a lot of people inner city that fuck with us, but there's a lot of people out of state that rock with us too, so I feel like it's important that they get some of this shit, man. They need some of this merch. Yeah, but definitely the Crips LLC, what we pushing is definitely counseling uh, just the other side of things for nomad type people. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, even the, just the community period, we're offering counseling, workshops, uh, shit, attorney fees. Rehab, shit, man, I'm a, hey, I'll even come help, come run one for the anti-bullying, man. Like, for you sure. know, yeah. shit, when we run a room of fucking 40 people, just 50 people trying for to. Sure. sure. I mean, I know that's small, but you know, hey, it could help. Everything helps. Every I, don't, big I, I can't see our live viewers right now, but listen, can we do a poll as we end this show? Uh, if we did a Raise the Flag tour, Right now, where we came out and raised awareness about cyberbullying, Crips and Bloods, all in one, we did a live panel. Would you guys attend the Raise the Flag tour? Yes or no? Yeah, and we'll run right? through these fan, this, the, 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 the fan fun and the comments. Why are you doing that? Whack 100 as a closeout. And I don't really talk about whack, but I feel whack on this one. Me too. I'm a roll with him. So, I'm a roll no, with him. I don't lie. I thought me and you was probably going to have to bump heads on it. I mean, we. But I'm glad that it. me and you we see eye to eye to that because I didn't know when that got brought up how you was gonna feel about it. Yeah. I'm like, come on, brick. Like I I'm get it. A, yeah, but this, this yeah, is where nah, whack, you he, made he a lot of something. I'm a man. Whack ain't never hurt nobody around me because I was. So I, at the end of the day, I I I say. A lot of shit that he do is genius. I be giving him his little shits from time he's to time. smart motherfucker. Yeah, he's smart than a motherfucker. He, he know, know how to does. play. But at the end play of ball. the day, Wack say he declares 10 days of peace for the No Jumper staff. I agree with Wack. Would that for the first just time. the people in the building or just fans even getting involved too? The fans got to chill too, though, because y'all they pumps it up. <laughs> I just wanted to ask. Y'all me. pumps it up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And a motherfucker, like, this is the thing. Yeah, sticks in the chat, sticks in the chat. But look, man, um, whack. You not even here to witness this drama, nigga. You're declaring peace from afar, bro. Like, if you was here to witness this shit, you would damn near be right here with a goddamn flag that say peace on the motherfucker, man, because you're not even on the compound with all the tension. And I'm not sneak this or nothing, but I'm like, he's declaring peace from afar. So just imagine the people that are in the building with, like, you know what I'm saying? I say 10 days, no drama and no jumper sounds like a challenge that I'm going to take up, because... Do you think it can happen? I think it's possible. Well, I'm willing to put down the bullshit for 10 days. It's hard. I, got, I know it's some shit always cracking, so I it's got, like... I got a hundred mm. that, that, that that shit... I seen y'all navigate through that before. I seen y'all maybe go about 11 or 12. Yeah, but right now it's in the air. Shit's east side eye right it's now. In the air. Got you. It's I'm in not going to lie to you. I got you. It's shit. You don't know what about to happen. I got a hundred say, but what? A hundred say what? <laughs> that the ten days don't go. I don't think it's gonna go. You bet, Whippy. Yeah, you bet. I got a hundred say. I, I don't mean, think it's gonna go. Anybody want to bet, motherfucker? Niggas be, be too much on their shit up here. It just <laughs> that's asking for a lot. 
like we would all have to come together. Everybody would have to be on board. Like well, amongst each other. We're, we're it, saying it right here. Yeah, that's cool, right? Be a brick and say, yeah, my nigga. All right, ten days, ten days. Okay, nigga, cool. Ten yeah, days. That's but what I'm everybody saying. Everybody got everybody as a whole gotta be right ten there days, when this is said. Bro. Even Adam too, or no? Ten days. Everybody. Ten days amongst each other. I think we could do it. But 10 days, no Somebody drama. Somebody going to pop no off, different. so I'm not promising nothing. We have, I'm not promising we have nothing. three to four randoms a day. That's There's right. no telling what they're going to come in here and say or do to start this commotion. Hey because man, no man sharp say, gate, we're not promising nothing. The sharp but gate, I will hey, the but sharp me, gate I'll came try. out of left field. Yeah, that was crazy. The fucking... But, but we took, hey, we handled it. It is what it the is. The BB gate came out of nowhere. You just never know. I don't know if you, it's the amount of alcohol consumed or the amount of drugs consumed. Somebody might be having a chemical imbalance. And it don't even but be they're us. They're That's saying, so no, crazy. they're saying fuck our fucking tour. Yeah, nigga. Because niggas know what it come with. <laughs> y'all not That's popping cold. out. Yes, Nebraska. Y'all just doing that because y'all want to see me cry, nigga. <laughs> no, we're good. still up on the pole with them as well, but it's like, People kind of on the fence about that one, church. Like, yeah. they want to. Nobody's pushing peace. They just know. They just know. They just know. That ain't it. I don't even, yeah. I, that ain't it. I, I'm going to go But with we definitely show. pushing that narrative. But maybe we, we can definitely get there. Gonna let's get there. Yeah, let's sale. get there. Let's get there. I, I bet you that y'all motherfuckers pull up to that motherfucker because it's going to be so lit. How could you not? You Let's got Sharp. You got motherfucking Brick, baby. You we'll got, nigga, one take down. You did. You got the whole Kill Squad, and you know Kill Squad got some of the baddest bitches in the motherfucking <laughs> city. Sticks in the chat. Kill Squad has the baddest bitches in the city. I, sharp. I... Niggas need to come Every see. Every bitch that comes around is kill squad. Hey, I That's bet you all the niggas that come to this one and the females are gonna have a great time. Come on, man. Y'all wanna come turn up with some bad bitches and real niggas, man. We are I definitely think gonna, have a gonna great time. line up. I, 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 we're gonna line up our first live show soon. So let's get through the fan yeah, fight. I hope they ready. Let's see here. if they ready for that one. What? Hey, man, that, hey, a live show. Cause we That's what I was one, talking about. We ain't did one in a minute. Like, you know what I'm saying? But doing, like, you know, a flag. But that's bringing everybody. That sounds more like an event. Yeah. The way you explain yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're talking yeah. about a no jumper live show. All the heavy hitters, all the stars. Five all the ones with all three. the commotion. Gotta be hard. All the no motion diddy. and commotion. All the motion and commotion. We bring everybody. You know what I mean? So listen, man, we're going to run through this fan funding real quick, man. Uh, chosen One says Sour were the best. Sour Diesel. Oh, Sour was the best on the East back then. Yeah, oh, Sour, yeah, sour Diesel. Sour, I forgot we, we opened up talking about weed. Yeah. Sour Diesel definitely was a New York thing, and it wasn't even the same Sour Diesel as the West Coast. Like the shit we was calling Sour was like a Kim Dog cross. Uh, what was it crossed with, Donnie? The headband was more of the diesel. It, I think Sour Diesel. Hey, headband. Donnie, you from the East Coast? Headband. Diesel, OG, uh, 707 headband. Yeah. But do you headband. remember Branson? Y'all remember Branson? That was some real heavy East Coast shit. Y'all remember that strand? Even Biggie rapped about Branson. Nah. Y'all don't remember Branson uh -uh. back in the day? The Piff was the uh, Haze. It was. It was haze. Haze was fucking. I didn't like the texture of the haze. It, it wasn't. Yeah, that was some. That was some East Coast shit. That shit never resonated on the West Coast. Yeah, but it's like fluffy. If it has no dense, like no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says respect. No BS. Few weeks hit. Play on your music. First song I heard was Brick Baby Alone. I said, fuck. Track one, Nasty Diller on repeat. Yeah, man. I do it for my own. Hey, damn. What I say? Shit, he pulled up in the lamp. He ain't even had no bitch. Who we, who we got right here? Hey, fuck you. Y'all like my freestyle, nigga? No, I don't. That's cool, nigga. No, man. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have next, Adam. Man. I'm gonna have Adam, nigga. Read the next. Speaking one. of freestyle, go check out so, that uh, hey, life behind know, the gates. About to crash next. You don't even know. Don't know what's about to. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't like my freestyle. Y'all go check out life behind the gates, man. Yeah, right this now. This my nigga, bro. Love this nigga, brick, bro. Yeah, man. A motherfucker. Fuck sharp. He I said, did it. and it says any uh damn lace well. I don't know if I shot. He out actually the comes before. through in the news. He comes through the that news. That was in the King morning. TL with the five dollars. Shout show. out King TL, man. We appreciate you. Lace well. You want to take that one down? You see from over there? I know yeah. You any update on Flacco passing? His written exam. His written driving. Can you turn a little bit, please, Donnie? Nah, it's good. It was good. We got to go through. Oh yeah, go ahead. I got it. I was written it. exam. I'm mocking. I'm mocking the no mask side. Let me get the mask, y'all. Sticks in the chat. Let's go. Sticks in the chat. We gonna have a raffle. We we gonna make it easy for y'all. We gonna be on Discord. We gonna raffle through Cash App or through fucking. You know what I mean? And definitely everybody who enters the raffle will get something. You will, if you don't get the mask, you will get a Kill Squad shirt, hoodie, or something to, you know what I mean? Like, you definitely gonna get something. So, that's how we gonna play the raffle. The next one, somebody got a it. shitty story. Uh oh. He said, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 52 times. I remember going to the Shady to get that Irene back in the day. Shit, you know what I'm talking about. Irene had that city on the Choco. He remember going back, yeah, man, the Shady Park. You know what I'm saying? To go get the Irene. Yeah. You remember that 207, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Come to LaCour. Come to City Life. You know what I'm saying? Get served at the motherfucking uh, pool type of way. You understand me? It's break not the trick. You know what I'm saying? Hockey sticks, sticks, sticks. Yeah, man. Damn, we went. We went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesse Mendez, $10. You want to get that one? Get yeah, he say, uh. Kill Squad, El Paso, Texas, checking in. Rick, you a trip, bro. Funny as hell, bro. Stay up. Much respect to all y'all. Hey, y'all think I should just stand up? No. All right, cool. Keep man. this job. You it's better. Always, it's fitting. You always kill It's fitting for you. Bro, do you know that, hey, stand up is hard, bro. That's not an easy thing to do. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, you but both you should probably. Do it. Yeah. We sit there. I don't mind yeah, going yeah, to as long as these bitches in the crowd, church go with hey bitch. You dusty musty crusty yo with that fucked up ass we I guess bitch. that's the way we get the dog. I can get the next one if y'all want me to. Come on. Jay Rich the Pit with a five dollar donation said, in my studio making beats on the NPC, sipping my dark while watching no jumper. Sipping that's my drink. drink. Oh sipping sipping my drink while watching no jumper. That's the life. Love y'all. Hey, man. Love to you, too, man. Hey, man. I'm love glad. Love to love. Go ahead. I got the rest of them. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we got uh, Frank Ponce right here. He said, yo, I'm sneaky. Shout out to the all the homies from South Fontana. The Fontana King, Sharp Keeper G. Hey, man. Appreciate you, Frank. Number love to you. Hey, y'all the same kings as uh, 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 Lefty Gunplay, the extended branch. We got another one. Uh, nigga, well, we gonna do that. We gonna get a two dollar uh, uh, sub. Sharp, keep grinding, man. Seem true, real. We'll see. Hey, man, number love to you. you hear me? Yeah, that's uh, King, King TL. TL. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, you. You man. already donated, man. Yeah. Uh, true lies. He said, "Yo, the base hottest token on base." Ah, oh, man, he got Bolden. you. Check much? What the fuck is that? You just promoted the bullshit coin. Not, got me. We're not, we're not, yeah. yeah, we're not promoting your coin what the fuck for five dollars, nigga. You can come out there. Don't tell me I'm yeah. man, come on, bro. That's yeah. kind of he got your ass too. I, was, I, was, I ain't get me. No, <laughs> I'm just trying to read him and get him down. Yeah, for no, I'm just saying though, but he, he nigga slid up. We we ain't doing no promoting coins on here for five dollars, nigga. We I I we came to the conclusion of that shit. You got to come on ahead and pay. You want us to promote that motherfucker. Benjamin Rainwater. Dave wasn't killed. He died in his sleep, bro. We didn't get whack 100 on details, DW show shit. Shout out YG. Always a troll, huh? Tada said, come on. What, what did it say? Go back. It said, Duck Take Dave shot, killed in ATL, Big Bank, homie, get whack line. No, he didn't get shot or none of that. Nobody killed Dave. Anyway, 
All right, damn homie is pregnant by Sharp. Definitely, for sure. 100%. Yes, 100%. I got right? the stick at my house. That's what he's sipping on to piss off the stick. Yeah, you right, motherfucker. The Russian, pure Russian. Right next to you. Yeah, ice mm -hmm. water. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mexican Joker, damn homie, just says she's pregnant. Hey, man, shout out to her. That bitch better not have Where? Bro. Send us the link. I give a million dollars. Listen to me. I give. I don't, I give she you a million dollars. I give. To... Listen to me, dog. Man, we're not even paying that attention. I don't even want to pay that all attention because right, that's got to be, right. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's super bullshit. That's super bullshit. <laughs> the new Sharp music video is fire, church. I ain't seen it, but you know what? Shout out to the music video. Oh, they done made a compilation of you. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, ain't, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, six up. Uh, we need that game. Sticks in the chat. Sticks in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> that shit go crazy. I ain't gonna lie, man. We can move that mobile game. Right? Hoofy right. as fuck. Is you from Hoover Grove? Your name Hoofy? I don't hood. I don't Hoover. Send an appreciation for the content from the oil fields of Texas. Boy, you better get them oil rigs and them seeds ready, man. Shout out J-Rock for the $7 to post number one. He probably didn't know to write the message. Jay Wright, gang. I, I, I did that shit yesterday, and hey, y'all did not read my shit, and I paid $10. Y'all didn't read my shit. Because I told that nigga Compo to sit on Sharp Lap. Nigga, the fuck you did? You was, I didn't read it. You seen it, nigga. I paid for you to see that What you shit, talking about, nigga? nigga? I, nigga, when y'all was You wasn't talking about me, though. Y'all was getting into it. You wasn't it, talking about me, though, bro. Sit on each other's laps. Nah, nigga. bro. Sit on my lap, fool. Man, yeah, right, my nigga. You ain't say none of that. So we got a. I did pay ten dollars, nigga. Oh, uh, that's in my motherfucking. You want me to buy my nigga? It's the history of the chest. You What'd you I say? That nigga. What did you say? I said I told y'all to sit on each other's lap. When nah, argue. nigga, you didn't tell me that. Hey, guys, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No diddy. Huh? No diddy. Oh, diddy. Man, wow. bro. Guys, ninety son. DW came in and did sharp sus and brick. To the face. If DW was a woman, Sharp wouldn't have let him say fuck no jumper. Said marks and weirdos. What? I guess. I guess. I mean, if a nigga say fuck no jumper, why he's mad? He's saying fuck no jumper at the end of the day, cause niggas in the room. If it was direct statements, we could understand that. But that's our homeboy. So that nigga, nigga was speaking his piece. Yeah, like, well, yeah, sit there interrupted. He, he wasn't sitting there trying to at niggas. He was just saying, if that's what this shit's gonna be on, then hey man, fuck no jumper. That's what he said. Yeah. He said, if it's gonna be on to where I gotta do that and change who I am as a person, then he don't want that's pretty much he fuck it. He don't want to be compromising me for no jumper. That's pretty nigga. much what he said. Uh, you can't knock nigga. a nigga for that. That's really how that nigga, nigga felt. Stay pure, nigga gonna stay pure. But listen, man. That's been another episode of No Statements, man. You dig what the fuck I'm saying? We got Sharp. Don't turn him into Sharp R, man. You understand me? And we got one take done, man. Donnie, shoot us up out of here, man. It's brick, not the trick. Don't see late. You dig? Grr.